lie. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. I did it again. <laughs> I was getting ready. I'm saying hi to everybody, and I looked up, and it says, go live. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay. And I just poured some wine. I haven't even had a sip yet. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Debbie, how are you this evening? I am good. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I How watched. Was day? Uh, it was supposed to be a day of rest. No, I had to watch Maps, and I had to watch Ninety Day Fiance. We went live earlier. Our 98, 90 Day Fiance recap took an hour and a half, and let me tell you, our live chat was jumping. We have the best people in our live chat and 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 the replay crew and a lot of them are in here in your I'm chat. I'm going to be so. the replay crew today. Uh, I <laughs> was in meetings all day, listening to Terry Lynn's live in and out all day. Terry Lynn has been on another. <laughs> we, I, it's just fun, though. I just mm -hmm. love to hear her talk. So I'm in meetings, I'm working, and I have my earpiece in, and I'm listening to Terry Lynn. I'm checking out my phone to see what's going on in the chat. Uh -uh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I feel comfortable enough to do that now because I actually know what the hell I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> oh, good Lord. It's always harder to... To, to, to learn a new industry really yeah. it's always harder mm -hmm. but uh i have enjoyed it so let's see who we have in the chat we have susan dawson in the house yes susan tell them to get access to and join the channel we have addy in the house hi addy of course we have debbie <laughs> we have Kinlan, vixie Jen, Miss Jen Bailey is in the chat. Hello, G Pack. Terry Lynn, Barbie. Uh, let's see who else we have. Uh, wait a minute. I gotta go down. I gotta go down. I gotta I gotta go down. April. Hi, April. Holly Forever 29. Mm -hmm. I love that number. 29. Hi, TC. How are you? Hi, Brenda Faye. How are you? Uh, the triple A club. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye on you, Triple A Club. This is your first time in here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Hi, Doree. I'm gonna see you soon. Hi. Hi, lad. How are you? Uh, let's see. Sassy nerd girl. Hi, sweetie. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have? Dreamsicle. Hi, sweetie. Mod 148 in the house. Hi, Julie. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Big Bat Wolf. Hi, Ann Graham. How are you? Uh, Virgie, hi. KT, how you doing? Hi, Sarah Z. Terry Lynn, I swore I spoke to you already. Hi, Holistic. Hi, Mommy of Four. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay. Am I missing anybody? TC, hi, sweetie. Ruth Ann, hello, how are you? Terry Lynn, Terry Lynn. Snoop Dogg, I thought she said Snoop Dogg food. <laughs> <laughs> this should be an interesting live then. <laughs> First you say you love going down, now you miss reading things. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been a long day. It's really been a long day. My eyes should be crossed. Hi, Anastasia. Hi, Maria. It's been a long day. I've been in Terry Lynn's chat all day. <laughs> well, I had to leave for a couple of meetings and I really needed to pay attention. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, Blavi. Hi, sweetie. I still haven't forgotten about, you know, about our lessons. <laughs> Thank you, AAA. Okay, we're good to go. Woo! Debbie, what did you think about last night's episode of Married at First Sight? Um, well, now I think we're getting to like the honeymoons. That's all I wanted to get to. I don't care about the stupid family brunches. <laughs> um <laughs> I just don't. 
Um, mm, on so the honeymoon cool. is where it all goes down. <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong show. Hold on. Let me just get my number. <laughs> Here we go. Mass. I'm like, what do you mean, Usman? Wrong show. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I've been in terror. Yeah, I'm telling you, I go to bed. I, I, I fall asleep listening to Terry Lynn. I wake up at 322 this morning to go to the bathroom, Terry Lynn's live. So I never went back to sleep. So I've been up all this time. <laughs> Hi, Kelly, all day. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> all day. I've been up listening to her for 12 hours, over 12 hours now. She oh ended one God. stream and she started another. So, I mean, but I love it. It's fascinating. Okay. So you don't care about the family and friends yet. Okay. No, unless so, they're eating something good. Okay. Otherwise, no. What couple last night did you think was uh, st- stood out? And that's the couple we're going to talk about first. What couple do you think stood out? That I liked or hated? Any way you want to roll. Um, Noi, Noi Moy and Steve. <laughs> I knew it. 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 Okay. (laughs) (sighs) What do you think of what Noe Moe and Steve? (laughs) Well, okay. Look, I like them. And I think that they might have a shot. Um, I think... Sriracha might want to get a piece of Steve Moy. Girl, I thought the same thing. Mike, Sriracha, whatever. He is, she, they too much. I I put that, they just too much. No, 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 no. Sriracha knew the, knew the, uh, knew and understood the assignment, as Jamal liked to say. Okay. Well, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he, she has some spice, Sriracha. She has spice. Right. What do you think about uh, about the fact that when he uh, oh when he went to meet with well when she met with when she met with his parents that mm-hmm. was nice uh, but the father was really uncomfortable. He said that he had doubts about the whole situation and that so, he's a vagabond or something. Yeah, because he likes to travel. He doesn't want to yeah. lay any roots down. Mm-hmm. Her facial expression. Yeah, yeah, and it was the same as mine because I'm like, it, and it ties back to what he said. She asked him why did he join the show, and he said, "Oh, it just came up, like it's my next place to squat." I didn't take it like that. I, I think did. the fact that he travels so much or he likes being, I call him a nomad, a wanderer, you know, he would never find anyone on his own. So he mm-hmm. looked to someone else to help him. No? I don't think he was looking for a relationship. I think he was looking for temporary housing. Where does he live? That's what I want to know. Where does he live? Is he living with the parents? I feel he might have spent some time with that sister who was kind of salty, who said before he got married, I think she's going to want somebody with a job. And I interpreted that as you better get your lazy ass off of my couch or you better not come back to my couch. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Am I overanalyzing poor Steve? I like him. I like Noi. Especially now that her name will be Noi Moy. Um, I I think every time somebody brings up the unemployment thing, though, I think he gets defensive. And my natural reaction to that is, what you hiding? Did they fire you or did you get let go because of the pandemic? You know, that's all. I'm highly suspicious. <laughs> You're on mute. He said he had oh. been doing freelance work. Yeah, but that means he ain't got no benefits. 
you can make a lot of money with freelance work. And I'm wondering if he was financially secure enough to go and wander around for four That's months. what I'm thinking myself, even though he said that he slept in his car. I'm thinking mm -hmm. that he was financially stable and he slept in his car because he wanted to, because you're just not going to travel around. You need money for food and gas mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in case you have car issues. So yep. you're not just going to up and do that without having the mm -hmm. financial security to do it. I'm just wondering if he's just transitioning in his life. Like he, I wonder if he's scared to tell them that he likes the freelance work. I wonder if he's, if he, he can make some good money doing freelance. Well, he did say he was doing pretty good doing freelance work. Mm -hmm. Cause when her mom was saying that you need to have financial security or a job to have a baby, he's really mm -hmm. doing he's doing pretty well with freelance work and it bothers her a little bit, but not enough to the point where she's going to say, this is not for me. But he's going to have to sell this to the older generation, especially a generation that are immigrants yes. who believe in a nine to five or whatever shift they're working and a guaranteed wage and benefits or, 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 you know, just that guaranteed wage. I think that's the most concerning thing. I don't think that the, the the parents both his and hers don't see some of the benefits that could be had with consulting and and freelance work okay i mm -hmm. see that mm -hmm. um we did learn that noah had a little dog named sushi are we surprised the dog's name is sushi Suchi, sriracha <laughs> and and some what's her name noisy Noisy. <laughs> the whole family's tiring, but okay. But I thought it was cute that he brought her breakfast in bed. That was cute. That's to be expected. Uh, not all of them did that. And no. then, you know, he's. they both said there's lots of chemistry, but they didn't have sex on their honeymoon night. I think he's trying to be respectful, and I think she's allowing him to try and take the lead, but like when okay i don't know what the, what sriracha's um other name is but when he was michael. at the wedding who? michael michael okay so when michael was saying she needs to be chased you know you know meaning t take the the initiative yes and 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 pursue her i think that kind of like scared him so yeah, you're, you're telling me, but this is somebody that I just met and I'm yeah. not going to try to to pursue her on the first night. He was like, you know how the guys go out together and the other one's egging the other one on? That's what her brother was doing. Like Olo, <laughs> um, um, Ola's conversation, Elijah Wan, his Elijah conversation Wan. with his boys. Yeah. I think, I think Michael could have fit in with that. Yes, because... But I think Steve is a is not comfortable with that he is not comfortable with that hi sister hi baby love you see you soon hi j underscore g but i like the fact he got on his knees when he first got to the hotel room and he gave her the ring pop that was so cute <laughs> they're cute with that they're a cute couple and they are cute but I his skin is better than her skin I, like. hmm? I said his skin is better than her skin but you know what? I was with her in that moment where she was taking off the makeup and she was just like, oh, he's going to see me without makeup for the first yeah. time. Girl. Yeah, and, and I couldn't figure out why she was saying that. I didn't know her skin was like that. I didn't realize that and until I saw her that morning because I really didn't pay attention to her that night. In the earlier episodes, you know, like when they were getting to know the couples before they okay. got married, there was a scene with her talking to a bunch of women and you really saw it because it was daylight, bright lighting. Yeah, I and I yeah, I she's really got bad attention. skin. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention, I guess. Mm -hmm. because, but I, I, I was actually looking at the clothes and the fashions. So, um, okay, so you like them. I like them. I think they're going to be... There's only one animal, and that's the dog. So that's not bad. And I'm sure the dog is pretty well trained. <sighs> I'm going to go with you on this one, too. Okay. 
I like them too. Okay. Um, I, I want them to work, but I have a feeling the job situation is eventually going to become a problem unless he's hiding something else. I think he is financially secure enough to work. And even if you do freelance, you can have your own insurance. You can have your own bonding. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't know why people think, because when my daughter-in-law was working at the airline and she decided she wanted to start her own business, my son flat out told her, this is the time for you to do it. So she's got the business in Vegas set up and now she's in, um, damn, I'm not going to, well, she's on the island and she's setting up her stuff there as well. Mm -hmm. So she's doing very well. The first year she was shocked. If I'm not mistaken, she either got close to a meal and I'm serious. And she does consultant work. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can make good money and you, you set your, you set up your own business. You set yep. your own hours. You pick your clients. Yep. You know, that's how she met Dom. She she knew Dom Natty before I did. Hi, Rhodey. <laughs> she met him in Vegas at, uh, at a business thing. Yeah, that's where she mm -hmm. met him at. So, and, you know, he was talking one day about, and I was like, talking to some girl he met that was really, really pretty, but she was mad. And we were just laughing. And he told me her name. I said, that's my daughter-in-law. And I showed him the picture and he went, Oh my God, that's your daughter. No, he was like, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. I said, and she's married to my son. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> so, but I was laughing. So I had to let her know about that. So where do you want to go next? Uh, you choose this time. It's your choice. Let's do Yasmina and Michael. <laughs> Okay, let me have a drink. Hold on. <laughs> what do you think of a Yasmina and Michael? He's a little negative Nelly. Like I can Oh, see I knew you. I was gonna say negative Nancy. You said negative Nelly. <laughs> I, I didn't want to call him a girl. I just Okay. <sighs> Let's say negative Nate. How was that? Negative, negative Nate. Nate. Yeah, there you okay. go. I'm a Oh, I was singing to Nelly the rapper. Sorry. Um, I don't know. That argument that they got in to that, not argument, that disagreement. I think it's a good opportunity for both of them to learn the viewpoints in which they see life. They're not learning, though, because here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Even his sister said that he sees things negatively. He always sees the bad. He never, mm -hmm. and he considers himself a realist. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay to be optimistic or, you know, but you can't just look for the negative right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're telling her, the sisters, that mm -hmm. is, they're telling um, Jasmina mm -hmm. to be, uh, what's her name, Claire and Pam? A Clarice, Claire, yeah, Claire and Pam. They're telling Jasmina to be, to do right by him and be mm -hmm. good to him. But they're still looking to baby him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a grown ass man now with a wife. And I don't know. It's just. And at one point, I see them making it. I like when they went to the hotel room when they got. Uh, 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 um, after the after the reception, you know, she helped him with his tie to take it off. You know, mm -hmm. he unzipped her dress, everything. But then I noticed something about everything. When you go out partying, you get married that morning. I'm sure you take a shower that morning. You mm -hmm. put on all this makeup. You get dressed. You're out there in the sun. You're dancing, or you in some place. You're sweating. Uh, you know, you're just funky. You don't party and you don't drink. Why is it every damn body go to their room and take off their clothes and go to bed? Or, well, except for the women that take off their makeup, nobody wash their nasty ass. I'm hoping that they edited it badly. I'm hoping that they somehow took a shower. 
I am hoping. No, I don't think they did. Because he didn't get in the shower. She came out. He he was already changing. Out. He was putting his other clothes on. Nobody took a shower. I wouldn't hey. want to sleep with your funky ass either. Speaking of this, though, did you note it? Oh, no, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. Just no, no, me when no, we get no. To, no, because it's about um, Ola. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Let, let's hold yeah. it. Yeah. And then I have another issue with Michael and all that hair underneath his arm and all that cake. The deodorant. The deodorant, the deodorant that's yes. caught in it. Oh. A lot of men actually shaves it down some. I he do has a that. bush under there. Yeah. Yeah. And when I see that, I then go directly to his beard and wonder what's in there. His beard is so neatly trimmed. It so, is. It's so well groomed. It Didn't is. you get them clippers and cut some of this down? You got kicked up white deodorant underneath your... Mm, mm, Maybe she'll mm. help with that. I don't know. But you know what? I will say he's one person on this cast that I would like to meet in person and not because I like him or anything. I just want to see how tall he is in real life. He's short. That, he's almost, yeah. He's like five, six. Oh my Maybe God. Maybe five, seven. Really? He doesn't look that tall. Wait a minute. No, he I know he just, because I'm saying that he has a Napoleon complex and I he find that they use very strategic angles with him have you ever noticed that yeah they shoot him a lot from bottom up yep but he has like an elongated face with the wide box head i i want to know what he looks like with without the beard because i think the beard helps elongate the face i'm wondering if he has a really teeny teeny face he might he might he might i don't know what <laughs> Did you think it was cute when they were getting ready to go on their honeymoon that they were basically dressed alike? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the plane. She's got her head all on his shoulder. He's They're trying talking. so hard. <laughs> Girl, you know you want a tall man. But he might have a big package. That's an optical illusion at his height. Not that's no, 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 it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know but him, but no. <laughs> I don't know. I want, see, I kind of think that she's open to, to, to learning and to new experiences. And him, I think he's kind of closed off. And my God, I I was hurt when he said, we going to Puerto Rico. I, I ain't never been that far away from home. Well, oh, he from no. the Caribbean. Hold on. Hold and, on. Well, he, when, he said, when he said another country, I'm like, you do know that himself. Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. God, territory, right? I heard that too. I was just like, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna give it to him. He he's Haitian. Okay. Let's go. No, that's oh. not my being brethren. I'ma need y'all to stop sounding so ignorant. Lie. Okay. I need to get into Lindsay. Seriously. I really do. Because I have gone to Puerto Rico at least, I'm gonna say seven times. Okay. Just because you're in Puerto Rico does not mean that you don't speak English. They speak a lot of English over there. Okay. Oh, Listen, I'm just trying to They think. don't want us butchering their language. She is. Oh, my God. Let's get into Lindsay and Mark, please. Because I would have. Girl, you. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's get Look, into Lindsay and Mark. I'm telling y'all right now. Hi, Grace. <laughs> I love Mark the Sharp. I he love is, oh, no. I love Mark the Sharp. I got now a pen for him. Mark, I okay, now he's Mark the Committed or he's something the Committed. Yeah, he's not Mark the Shark anymore. He's, he's going to be Mark committed, committed right along something. with his grandmama and his mama if he stay with this girl. Okay, so Mark is a nurturer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, he needs, he's lonely. He's an only child, even though he has great friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
He is a nurturer. He is a very giving person. You can see that. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to suck the life out of him. She's needy. She's already talking about she, she's in love with him. Why? Because he lied to you about getting you out of a stitchy, sticky situation to protect you? <laughs> I don't think so. I think she says a lot of shit for the camera. Oh, God. I'm just, she is. But did you notice when he unzipped her dress, she had no underwear on under that dress? Mm -hmm. And the front was falling like. <sighs> well, she had on no bra, which the dress was not made for her at on. And on top of that, you have no drawers on. You go in there, take off your makeup and you jump your funky ass in the bed. That's all I'm saying. And then going to be saging. Wasn't she um, doing the sage? She should have saged herself. Yeah. To get with soap and water. She should have saged her damn self. But they look, but they both felt comfortable being with each other. They both mm -hmm. felt comfortable when they got in the bed. I'm just like, Lindsay is always on 10, 11, or 12. I don't think there's no other place for her to be. Mm -hmm. so but she said, she said she was a hospice nurse, right? Can you, like, them people was probably killing themselves in hospice to get away from her. I gotta give me a bottle. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. But oh when she god. said that, oh my god, the I imagined myself <laughs> in hospice and her treating me. I would want to die. We on the Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Wait a minute, Debbie. Okay. And I don't I care have, if that was me. I could have a half a glass of wine. Okay, I got to get up early in the morning. Now, if not, I'll pour another half a glass. I'm in trouble. So wait a minute. Just take an aspirin tonight before you go to sleep. Wait a minute. So the people were killing I'm, I'm just speaking on behalf of myself as a potential hospice patient. Oh, my God. And if she oh was my God. nurse, I oh. would want to kill myself. <coughs> it, look at what, what TC, TC says. I volunteered at a hospice. I could not imagine her there. These are these people's last moments. Oh my God. Their, their peaceful transition. And she up in there arguing with her dumb ass about speaking Spanish in, 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 the, in the appropriate kind. Shut up. <laughs> I'm choking, Debbie. I need to take a drink. <laughs> I'm choking. What are we? <laughs> All right. What about when she went to meet his friends? Please. <laughs> I don't think they like her. I think they lied. I got the same impression because you know how people can talk and be smiling and nodding? That's <laughs> what they were doing. <laughs> oh my God. God bless him, but they did him dirty. Oh my God, they did. Oh my God. You know what? I think we were right. We need to match Mark with Marla. No. Yes. No, Brett. No, red hair. Yeah, the woman with right, the red hair. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, her. That's what we need to put him with. Um, she said she wanted someone not just emotionally available, but emotional caring, because it's not really the same thing, but in a way it is. <laughs> I don't understand anything she say. <laughs> oh my God. But what do you think of it, Mark, when he went to meet with her friends and her dad? That no button was everything. Yep. They, her dad really likes him. Mm -hmm. they, they all feel that he is, I think they all believe that he's too good for her, especially her friends. I think they think that he can rein her in, especially the dad, where he couldn't. You see? I think they want Mark to do the dirty work for her, but he need to kick her ass to the curb. Take the free honeymoon and the eight weeks of free lodging, yep. but kick her to the curb. 
Because you see that she was auctioning off his cats. She was auctioning off the cats to his that, friends. Did you see the guy who looks like his brother? He was looking at her like, that's not funny. This is this man's, just because you have two, he would accept your two. He has three. So listen, that's all he listen. Has. Mark has a lot of responsibility in his life. He has a <coughs> lot of stress. Not only does he have his job, but he has to take care of a grandmother and a mother who are in institutions. I thought his um, mother was uh, on, she had an addiction problem. He said, but she stopped getting dressed. She stopped doing her hair. Major she, depression. Yes. After the dad died. But I feel that those cats that he have are support, her. No, support him in the way he supports his mother and grandmother they help him he might but, not admit it but those cats are there to support him but he said that i thought he said that he had got two from his mom mm -hmm. so that's what but the third one i don't know whether mm -hmm. i swore he said he got two used to belong to his mom or mm -hmm. something he was he saying can't, he can't give away those cats those are mm -hmm. emotional for him mm -mm. okay so Mm -hmm. let's get to Lindsay and her um i think she's been drunk since before she got married because she was drunk on the plan uh, on the plane she's been drunk the whole time i think she she uses alcohol to cope hey 90 days on blast yeah she is always oh. level 10 where is that patricia's right she's just out there so you know She's up there crying. Oh, she was asking Mark if he likes uh, calamari and oysters because they were going to Puerto Rico. You mm -hmm. dumb bitch. We get calamari and oysters here as well. They live in a seaside um, town. Don't they have like some of the best seafood over there? Like what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> when you go into Puerto Rico, you go and you get the mofongo and the roast pork with the head and tail on it. What are you talking about? She irritates the soul out of me. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, we don't have those here. <laughs> I, I, wait, forgive me if I'm wrong, but Boston has good seafood. Boston has delicious seafood. Um, I, 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 I was a little confused. <laughs> beautiful maine boston lobsters are you know how we how we spend well not in florida no not where you i don't think you spend a lot of money on lobsters where you're at yes you do because lobsters are cold water yeah mm -hmm. you probably spend a lot of money on lobsters too um we could get like um i i prefer the caribbean lobsters they're smaller and yeah. their, their flesh is sweeter um sorry if that sounded bad but it makes no sense. it's almost like a crawfish yeah it, it's it's a different kind of lobster um i find like the big northeastern lobster like the bigger they get the less the taste it is, is more, yep and yeah so yeah you're absolutely right but i know when i worked uh at this other company we used to have this lady that lived in alaska when i told you she would send me salmon she would freeze freeze packet mm. and send it. That's the freshest salmon I ever had. And what was so funny, when I moved to to the other company, she actually trained a class there. And she was like, Heidi Black, where have you been? And I was laughing so hard. And we started doing it again. So I'm going to have to hit her again while I'm here. Mm -hmm. I need, and she walks out of her door. She's right there. She takes pictures of bears. They be right up there. Mm. It doesn't bother her at all. She's lived in Alaska all her life. Wait, the bears be like right there? When, you, when she opens her front doors, there's bears and stuff out there. Yes, she takes pictures and sends them. Okay, so mental note, no visiting Alaska. She takes, uh, she's the sweetest person, but when it comes to Lindsay, okay, let's just get into everybody getting to the drinks, okay? Everybody's down there having fun. You know, Mark comes down because Lindsay's not going down because she was triggered. She was oh, that scene on the patio. Bitch, <laughs> bye. See, that's cheap for a lobster. Yeah, she's in Boston. That's cheap for a lobster roll. <laughs> oh. 
Yep, they are. So, I mean, I, I, I used to love going to Boston. And when I go, when I used to go there, um, when I would go to Maine, uh, I'm going to eat lobster the whole time I'm there. Seriously. Because you get them so cheap. And you get them pretty cheap in Virginia Beach, too. But here, Anybody in the chat ever tried lobster from Costco? I'm just wondering. No, but you got to say that. I got to go to Costco tomorrow and get me some. Uh, I have to go get the golf shrimp because you get them there. Uh -huh. And I have to go pick up a couple of packs of those. So I will try the lobster and let you know. Yeah, I'm I, I walk by it. Are you talking fresh lobster or the frozen lobsters? I think they had I can't. Nothing was alive. It was in a package. But I don't okay. know if it was frozen. I saw the price and I kept on walking. Um. <laughs> Sometimes I bought those big jumbo crabs. Uh, I, I, I bought the Dungeness crabs when I was mm -hmm. here. I bought two. And they were like this big. Mm -hmm. And I spent like $42 for two crabs. And I listen, killed them. <laughs> but listen, I need to know that I can trust it if i'm going to spend that money so that's why i was asking well, i will be the guinea pig i'm going to costco either friday or or saturday and i'll try it if, if i see them in there Ooh. oh my god no, no I didn't that. oh my god that's Hi. making my liver. thank you yeah. Uh, there's everything here except for blue crabs, but I have a um uh a shop that orders me uh they order blue crabs for me, so you get everything out here except for the golf shrimp. They have shrimp, but I like golf shrimp, which are the gray ones. So Costco mm -hmm. has them, so I go get them from there. <laughs> nice seafood boy. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to eat good when I go home. Let me tell you. Oh, no. When I go to Vegas, there's this place called um, It's Hot or It's All Good uh, that, that my sister found. Ooh, we were there in May. They had crawfish. We're going to go right back there, take the Uber. We're going to get an Uber and go right back over there. And the line is wrapped around. So you got to order ahead. And I'm going to order and here we go when I get there. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie. So, um, okay, so everybody's down there drinking, okay? Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to go down. Mark comes down. And, you know, uh, Elijah Juan was really good. He said he didn't need an apology. Uh, you know, they were all, he said nothing but hugging and making up. First of all, you don't tell anybody what language to speak. You're not their mother. I'm going to agree with everything mm -hmm. they had to say. Mm -hmm. uh, you're over top. You think you know it all. And I don't know because, you know, people must have told you, oh, you're so damn smart. I don't know. But that's something you don't do, especially in a group setting. <clears throat> and she wonders mm -hmm. why. Not only did she upset Yasmina, I mean, Katina, but Yasmina as well. Yeah, I... <laughs> And this is, <laughs> I'm going to give her this one shot, but I want to see if she come with that same energy to anybody else in, in the group. Did you see the previews? <laughs> so, you know, Katina flat out told Mark that she's a little bit too much for her. And this is coming from a party girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who has no rhythm, by the way. Okay, so... <laughs> Be for long. So, you know, and then when but when Mark goes back and he's talking to her, he's saying that they wanted to that Elijah one said he wanted to hug and what? He never said that unless they cut that part out. I'm thinking, look, Mark was trying to be the peacemaker, and kudos to the to <laughs> Elijah Wan for being grown enough to grown up enough to say look my argument isn't with you mark but i appreciate you coming to me man to man because she was out of order arguing with him over yeah. some stupidness like that but mark came to him as the husband's you know 
and only Elijah, because he wanted to, I think only because he wanted to get away from her for a while because she was just over the top. Oh Lord. Well, no, he realizes that they're going to be together for this week. And I think they're changing the format of this show to have more group um uh dinners or lunches or whatever kind of like Australia okay. because it yeah. will have more conflict, right? Okay. Um and and it will give an excuse for why people don't stay together because, oh, they was fighting amongst one another and it wasn't the expert's fault. That's what I'm thinking. So okay. I, I, I think Mark is a peacemaker. He wants everybody to get along and he's with this person who doesn't know how to play nice in, in the playground. But do you notice everybody likes, um, Mark. Yeah. Um, everybody likes Mark. So it seems to me, you remember how, who was it? Not last season, the season before that everybody didn't like her. I can't remember her name. Not this past season, the season before. Caleb and, and that hunchback girl. No. Who? The one that used to, uh, not last season. I can't. It could the be Atlanta Bella. season. Yes. Right. No. Not Caleb. Jacob. Jacob and, okay. and Haley. Yes. I think the girls liked her because she was a partier. Um, and the boys like um yeah, Jacob. Not, no, not this past like season we just did. It was the other season, the first the season before. There was right, this Atlanta. One Atlanta. No, Atlanta was this past season. No, this past Chris. season was Houston. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one. Where you was at? At the firehouse. Yes. <laughs> Y'all leave me alone. Okay. Just leave me alone. Okay. It's I'm gonna long write day. a prescription for you right now. Writing a prescription. Get some yeah, sleep. <laughs> but she's like that type of person where you're gonna try to cut con uh control everything around you. And she's going to get herself hurt because you see Katina was already growling. She doesn't like her. And the previews alone, I'm just waiting for girl fight, girl fight, girl fight. <laughs> Is there going to be a fight this season? You think? Just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't know. What is with her? I don't care. I don't want anyone to get into anything with her because I feel like she'd be the one to be wanting to like sue or something. Yeah, that'll be her. She said that that triggered bullshit. I was just like, girl, bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She was triggered. All right. She was triggered because somebody put her ass in her place. Uh, what do we think about Lizzie and Mark? Next. Okay. Next. <laughs> Okay, what do we think about Mark? I love him. Okay, love Mark. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make that. We gotta distinguish that. Okay, we have Michael and Yasmina. No, not Michael and Yasmina. I'm sorry. We did, I'm sorry. We did them. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. Armpit afros. Yeah. Mm -mm. Elijah Wan and Katina. Um. I'm very conflicted with him because in in the scene with him and Mark, I saw a maturity there that I don't see most times. And a lot of things that he says sends up little warning bells for me that I think he has a distorted view of what marriage should be that isn't comfortable for me i don't think he has a distorted view i think that uh he wants what he sees everybody else has so it's not a distorted thing i think he's in it for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. uh you know and he himself said all of his friends around him are married you know but mm -hmm. her friend jelani which is my nephew's name who was killed by Princeton, look, by Princeton Township Police. Mm -hmm. um, I think that he sees through him. He's asking him, is he in it for the right reason or he's in, in it just to blow up? And what did 
He says that I'm not a bad looking dude. It's not like I can't get a girl. Help me with this one. That conversation was really uncomfortable. And then when he came back and spoke to Katina about that interaction, I was even more uncomfortable. Yep. Because she said that, you know, she she likes to hear what her friends have to say. And if they see, they can see red flags that she may not be able to see because she's too close to the situation. Mm -hmm. Lonnie has his eye on him. And didn't she say that she was going to keep that like in her back pocket or something like yes, that? Like what they say? Pocket. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's going to wait and see. But when she meant to, when she went to meet with Elijah Wan's aunt and she gave her that jersey and that hat and said that she's now the, his cheerleading team, I thought that was pretty uh, special to me. Wait, that was his aunt? I thought that was his mom. No, that's his aunt. Where's his mom? They, they're not showing his mom. I don't know. I don't think his mom, maybe his mom is deceased. I can't remember, but that's his aunt. Oh, shoot. Okay, go on, T. So when she said that she was his, um, yeah. and His cheerleader. She gave her, yeah, her So the what did you think cheer. about that? So that's telling her, okay, I was there to uplift him all this time, always had his, always on the sidelines. I need you to pick up these reins and run with it. I think that's a little bit too soon. Um, is there a reciprocal arrangement with this um, cheerleading squad? <laughs> is he going to be picking up pom-poms for me? Like, who the fuck is he? I met him yesterday, girl. <laughs> you can go I, press on t-shirt and your hat. I don't care. I don't like sports. I don't know. In a way, I like him. And then when he opens his mouth, I'm like, dude, dude, shut up. I don't know if he's trying to convince others or himself that he's, he's trying to convince himself. Because the more you tell a lie, the more you start believing it. I mean, you don't see it no other way. Somebody can put it there, had a videotape of it. Nope, that's not what you see. So the more you tell yourself and you try to convince yourself, you know, I get it. You're always the third wheel, you know. Uh, but, you know, as he called himself a playboy and it sounds like he is a little upset because of his past or he's not happy with the way he lived his life. But he keeps bringing up this college shit. Dude, you're fucking 29 years old. Get over it. Yeah, I mean, well, what he do? do? He has like everybody do. has a little whoring in their background. I mean. What could he have done? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he has a, you know, maybe he has a woman on the side with a baby on the way. But let me just say one thing about Katina, please. I'm just going to say this. Oh, she gosh. has no boobs, and I did not want to see her camel toe in them damn sweatpants. I really didn't. Oh, her little um workout outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, all you think now. I understand that you were flying. I don't know why you had to put a workout outfit on. You you could just could have put on some regular sweats and some shit, but you got to fly in the workout outfit. I, I, I'm so sorry. But, you know, they do make the pants now, the yoga pants that has a little padding so there's no cleavage. I mean, you know, the, there's no lip print showing. So I highly want her to get some of those, okay? Because I got tired of seeing her tiny little scrawny ass and her bare ass chest because she has no boobs. Okay, we need to get her some boob implants. Seriously, because nothing is on that top. How about we don't care about her that much, so we can get her some chicken cutlets. And we need to get her a better wig. Sorry, because the glue started lifting up right here on the corner. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Poor thing. Why didn't she go and get her hair braided like they always do? She wasn't 29. She was 38. <laughs> Wait, who's 38? No, they're talking with Tara. I interviewed Tara last night that. from Love During uh, Lockup. I missed that I was working. Aww. Yeah, I interviewed her. She is funny as hell, Debbie. We had a good time. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So what else did you say about Katina? Uh, um, 
Hamilton is the thing. It's kind of like, well, she has no cleavage, so that's probably why she. <laughs> Listen, she's she's letting them thickum lips showcase to the world. She says that uh, she was a party girl. So when he asked if she knew how to cha-cha, that's the simplest fucking dance there is to do. What are you partying? What are you doing? Just sitting in a club drinking? You're not dancing? She, she was ready. working. Wasn't she working? Didn't she work at the clubs? Well, she probably was working in the club. Yeah. What club? I don't know. Club? What, what club? I don't, know. About? I don't know. But she's doing retirement she benefits now, now. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Oh yeah, when she was 29, she liked the she goes, she liked the party, 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 party. But now she's 38, but she still feels like she's 29. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Tina, baby. How are you? Girl, I had migraines all last week. No, no don't worry about it, because I had them all last week. So besides that, what else do you want to say for them? Oh, I think I think he's going to underestimate her and think that she's stupid. I I think she might be quiet. I think she sees things. I think she gives people the benefit of the doubt. But she's not stupid. When she said that comment, I'm going to keep my friends uh, red flags in my back pocket. Yep. And the way how she she's her perspective on what happened with Lindsay and Elijah Wan, um, her and Jasmina, I, I'm here for. So when she said that he, oh, he said that, you know, she doesn't have bad breath, but then she says that he needs to work on his cuddling. Hi, Kimma. So what do you think? That was another red flag because when she said that, I thought he was a, a, a lousy a lousy lay, like um, an inconsistent. But they didn't have sex. No, but it's a prelude because if you can't even cuddle somebody, that tells me that that there's no caring. Like you're just fucking for fucking. That's me. That's me. I think he's had too many one night stands or too many this and it's you know it's a hit it and quit it. He doesn't know how to lay there and just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I can go for that. He's I can a go selfish for that. lover. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. He's going to greet town. They're going to greet town casino. I'm going to be in Vegas in the casino. Ooh, I can't mm. wait. All right. Don't forget my cash funds. No, I'm just joking. Let's see. So what else <laughs> do we have? Um, okay. What else is there about them? Is there anything else? Do you like them? Do you want them to make it? What? Um, unless I can see some sort of actual improvement with him, I don't think they'll make it. So I'll just put a question mark for this week. Or if they do, they're doing it for the check. We have to have like a, a, a choice where they're not going to make it. They'll make it for real or they're doing it for the check. Okay, I put that down. They're doing it for the check. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. wait. Wait. Before we leave Elijah on, do you yes. still notice? Last week when he jumped on that bed with those dirty drawers, they were yes. the royal blue. And this this week, they were gray. Gray, yes. And clean. <laughs> or at least with no visible stains on the outside. Maybe he sat on something and it see, that's what I'm saying with the shower shit. This is what I'm saying. These are some dirty ass people. I need you to wash your dirty asses, please. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm okay. I'm good now. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I think this is our final couple. That was it. We went through all of them. No, 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 no. Uh, Chris and Alyssa is our final couple. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I saved them for last. But are oh. they a couple, though? Let's, let's, she's okay. not on here. For I'm just going to say what I said last week. I told you it was the teeth that did it for. Her. I told you it was the teeth. But that, that says that she's superficial because she is the teeth and she doesn't think he's cute. Because remember she said if, if she's not physically attracted to him and if he's a jagatoot, she can't do it. KT, are you in Vegas? Send me an IG thing. I'll be in Vegas 
not this not this week and not next the following week wait a minute what is this the 27th oh next weekend i'll be in vegas next weekend not this weekend next weekend oh my god <laughs> I'll be in vegas. I, I thought i had two weeks <laughs> okay i'm good oh my god today is the 27th i'm looking at my monitor the 27th mm -hmm. Next weekend, I'm in Vegas. Oh my God, I'm excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Because <laughs> my sister and I would, well, and believe it or not, I haven't spoken to my sister in about two weeks. She texts me, she goes, They changed my flight going home. So uh, I have a four hour layover. I thought she was telling me that they canceled her flight because I was getting ready to go to hell. They did. <laughs> <laughs> I love gyros. I love gyros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that snuck up on me quick. I thought it was two weeks from now. Jesus. Oh, I love Vegas too. She did <laughs> almost miss her own birthday weekend. Are you going to go live at any point in Vegas? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> okay. I might show. I'm going to show my. I'm going to show I was sweet. That's what I'll do. I'll do that, and then I'll show us uh, getting arrested. <laughs> I think they might take my phone. <laughs> uh, I'll go live when I see Doree, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm going to go to Doree, and we're going to do a full makeover so we going out that night so uh hanging out with dorit so yeah i'm excited <laughs> i forgot <laughs> oh my god i love gyros I, oh i love oh i love indian food i love greek food i'm just okay i just love food all right so who chris and Alyssa. chris chris and Alyssa. guys I hope you guys watch Married at First Sight because this is the couple right here. Chris and Alyssa. He nailed it on the head. He's like, I question you you even being here. You have not put in any effort whatsoever. I'll go get my own room. Bye. Hi, Logic Hurts. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you're welcome. Oh my God. Okay, Debbie. She's a fraud. You start. You start. You start. I can't. Fraud. I don't like I lied. Her. I gotta get another drink. Hold on. I hold on. I need another drink. See, I have a line. Okay, I have a line. Listen, I don't and, understand why you pay okay, attention. Okay, so here's to the, the winery line. that screwed up my steak. And I told y'all that I took all those glasses. Oh my god. Uh, I have two of these i have mm -hmm. three i have two of the big ones yes yeah, so yes messina huff I, yeah i love the wines from messina huff by the way but they screwed up my food so i took their glasses off the table okay <laughs> even though they gave us one to take with us mm -hmm. i needed a set so i had to take these two and two other ones okay <laughs> oh my god <sighs> i don't you like her you know how much um, money I spent at that winery? I, I didn't pay for any food because they screwed it up and they gave me shit free. You know how much wine I bought at that winery? They should have gave mm -hmm. me a whole lot of more of these damn glasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Let's go. Let's get on Chris and Alyssa. Why does she think that she's such a prize? Her oh. attitude is abysmal. I, She's so I'm superficial. glad I swallowed. I'm glad I swallowed before you <laughs> said that. Because I would have spit all over my screen. <laughs> but it's true. Okay. Yeah. Some reason she thinks she's God's gift to men. Uh-huh. Or to everybody around her. Okay. Um, starting with the fact that she says that they're something just wasn't right you remember when i told you when his friends was talking to her and the look mm -hmm. on her face when i told you she had checked out she really had checked out you said she had selective hearing she found the excuse that she needed to be out and not engage with him 
when that who guy does that said, you of? Who does that remind you of? Marilla. No. Hmm. Chris and what's her name? Except oh, for she's Chris and he's Paige. No. No. Because okay. Paige was always begging for that marriage to 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 go like she wanted him to move in and all this stuff but he's doing the same thing he's no, he's trying to find out what it is that has set her off she will not speak on it she just says well it's some things that i've heard well what the fuck did you hear she heard that me. okay but she's that not telling him and that's not fair twice that uh that he puts his work first uh, that, uh, you know, she's going to come second. Uh, sh she's not the center of his fucking universe. That's what she heard. She also heard, what, but what she really took with her was that um, uh, he can be um, condescending and always trying to teach you something and something like that. That's irrelevant. She came across that bush, walked down the aisle and said, oh my God, he's a jagatoo. That's what she's she saw. Cute. I need to find a way out. I can't deal with this. And that friend who said something innocently, she took it and ran with it instead of trying to get to know Chris and judge him on, on his own merits with his interactions with you as a husband and wife. She's a fraud. She came on there to, to, to get something out of this show. I don't well, know what. what. Because she does, she works with animals right what does she do i think she works with animals right so what is she going to get out the show i don't know but i agree with chris i question her motives for participating in the experiment and she has not tried not one ounce and when he got up and he said fine i am going to the other room but why would her mom Mm -hmm. say that she thinks that they're a great match and he needs to just give her some time because her, her mother doesn't want to deal with her no more she's but tired she of hearing her complain about someone me like Chris mm -hmm. um, to, she said she needs someone like Chris to center her because she doesn't ever give anybody a chance. Just like how you show up to your to, to buy a wedding gown with 10 wedding gowns. You you find fault in everything because you don't give anything a chance before you you bash in it. Your <laughs> oh my God. So mm -hmm. maybe the mom sees something in see here. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe they're tired of dealing with her. But mm -hmm. She also stated that she thought that the matchmakers did a great job matching those two up. Because he has a good job. He is a successful real estate, um, real estate agent. You know, um, he seems he seems like a decent guy. I don't get it. I don't get it. But she is all into superficial. So you get somebody as That's superficial true. as you, it's not going to work. Okay, Debbie, do you remember that when, when Jamie wasn't attracted to Doug? Uh-huh. And they're still together, aren't they? I think they were having a little problem um, when she got, uh, like, this summer or something like that. They're down okay, here in Florida. Yeah, I, I, okay, I heard kids. that. But this is different, though. This is different. I think this girl is calculating. She's there for other reasons. I think okay. Jamie came on the show really to find somebody. And I think that was a process for her. A but, lot of walls had to come down. I remember that season. Okay. I was I was all team Doug. Okay, so but she she says that Chris rubs her the wrong way. They're not compatible. They're not going to work. Their core but, values, their beliefs. So hold on a second. So your core <sighs> values, your beliefs. This woman had a list already made up. But she hasn't talked to him to find out what any of that is. Yeah, they spent a total of what? 40 minutes together? Mm-hmm. Before she was crying in a cover saying to the producer that she can't, she want out. She's a liar. 
But so she wants to go, hi, homemade subs, how are you? But she wants to go on the honeymoon. For what reason? So they get extra money if they go on the honeymoon? Remember, if they if they bow out now, they're in breach of contract. Okay. So that's why she's telling him, let's just be respectful. Let's just ride this out. She she She's doing what we all accused Merle of doing last year. Right. Okay. And the thing is, Chris, I would match with Marla. That's who we said he would be with. Mer That's who we said. I yep. would match with Marla. Because they have the same drive. Yes. Work, money, go. Okay. So they're the only couple that had double beds in their room. Mm -hmm. And then he left that room. And went to a single room. Yep. Because she, she says some 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 stupidness about not feeling comfortable being around him. Like she, like she never slept with some somebody she met on the first fucking girl. Shut up. She doesn't want him. She's not attracted to him at mm -hmm. all. But she wants to stay on for all the perks. And that's why I agree with him when when he said. I question your motives for coming on here. But did you see the fake crying and talking about with the hat when she covered herself up? Because she said, he freaking called me a liar. Mm -hmm. oh. What did he say that was wrong, though? That was a lie. He didn't say he any said lies. He hasn't put the time. Okay, how That's much time have they had together to actually put time into trying to make this work? Because you have I the wedding. The next day you go have, uh, out. then she got mad. Because he talked to her mother and her friend about what happened. You dumb, don't you think this is going to show on TV and we're going to see it anyway? I was real concerned about that because she withheld all that information from his family. Okay. But yep. she was so yes, angry that, that he spoke about, and he didn't even say anything bad. All he said was exactly what she said. She thinks that we're not compatible. Yep. But then she said that he's trying to yes her to death. You know, he was like, so you want to do shopping? Now I'm going to spend my time at the beach. So of course he's going to be accommodating. Okay, we're going to spend our time at the beach. How is that yesing her? She accused him of that. And I, 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 I didn't get that. But she's just finding reasons not to be around him. And sweetheart, we don't like you. to be... Uh, I don't like you. But at least he's trying. Okay, he's I'm put down this week. I don't like Alyssa. <laughs> Did we like her last week? No. Okay. So I put it down again this week. I don't like her. But what do you think about Chris? Because to me, and I'm telling you, when I saw her at the altar and he spoke to her, she did this when she saw his teeth. Then when she went to meet with his friends, it was a totally different story. Mm -hmm. Because she sat there and she was listening and then she just, you can tell when she turned off. And then she mm -hmm. popped back in, you know, when they said that he likes to teach. And then she went. So she, she has selective hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Oh, I feel this so is, bad. This is what I want for Chris. I want Chris to do a, um, a makeover for the reunion, like what's his name did um, in Houston, the fire boy. I Ooh. want him to go to Dr. Heavenly and get him some teeth and come back with the biggest set of Nigerian chiclet teeth ever for the reunion. <laughs> And just blind her with their magnificence. <laughs> oh, my God. So you want him to go? Okay. I would think. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is me. Mm -hmm. I would think me as a mother, if I saw, but he said his mom worked a lot. But mm -hmm. I'm a mother and I see my child, son or daughter, Teeth are like that, and that's how they're coming in. What's the first thing you're going to do? Even if you have to go put it on layaway, or you have to pay weekly or monthly, what are you going to do? But his teeth are 
straight. They're just pointed. No, they're not straight. They are not. not straight. No, they're not. Oh, then that's a shame that nope, you can't get braces. Well. They are not straight at all. Do you think, okay, do you think that um, we call them writers in Barbados when, you know, when your baby tooth is supposed to be pulled out and then the adult tooth comes down, but if you don't pull out the baby tooth, the adult yep. tooth comes out in front and pushes the baby tooth to the back. Do you think he has those? I think he might because I remember when... Um, I thought it, I think it was Nathan. I just knew he was going to be getting braces. Uh, I remember his first dental appointment and the doctor was telling me, no, he's going to be, because they took the mole and whatever. Now, uh, Marcus had that tooth. He had one that was coming in here mm -hmm. and the other one never went away. So we had mm -hmm. to get that done. Oh, take I out the baby tooth. My child's mouth jacked up. Yeah, I, I mean, she could she could have done something for him. And now that he and, and the thing is, he's in real estate. You know, they you take do the headshots. Yes, because yeah. they're looking at your smile and everything. He you, can do something. You, your for representation. Himself. Yep. So yes. I think he should. That's why I want him, Doctor Heavenly. Hello. No, we don't need Doctor Heavenly because that job she do she no. I think he needs to go see somebody else, not heavenly at all. Because oh, no. when she did, uh, oh my God, I forgot. What's the YouTuber's name? When she did his teeth, uh, Funky Dineva. Oh, his teeth don't look good? I, I but, know that she Not at first, them. but now they do. She did Tasha. I don't know who did Tasha. I don't think Dr. Heavenly did Tasha K's teeth. Uh, and then you had, you remember when Nene Leakes first got her veneers and all this stuff in? Right, yeah. You see how Dorsey and Stacey look with those veneers. You remember what's his face on Shaw's of Sunset when he got his veneers done and he didn't go to the same people that Reza went to? He no, was. you know what? Um, he should have went to Mike's brother. Mike's brother does good. Yes, job. great work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when you were a real estate agent anywhere that you got to present... Uh, even if you are a, 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 a speaker or motivational, people look at mm -hmm. you, your appearance, the smile, everything. Mm -hmm. I remember the dentist kept, um, when I went to the dentist about, I go to the dentist every year, but, but 10 years ago, when he noticed he took the mold, he said, the older you get, your split is going to be wide. I said, my great grandmother had it. My granddaughters and my grandson have splits. And mm -hmm. Nathan said he was going to get his daughter split clothes when she got old enough. And, and his wife told him, hell no, that is a natural split. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe, I don't know. But no, I never wanted to have my gap clothes. Never, ever, ever. My sister did. Edith had hers clothes and she regrets it. Oh. She regrets closing her gap. Wow. She had hers closed. She wore that thing. I mean, I can wear it. I can pull it into a certain, but I don't want it completely closed. No. That's hereditary. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know when Michael Strahan act like he had his gap uh, fixed last year for April Fool's Day? Yes. Shit he looks so weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He looks so weird. I was like, why did you do that? Thank God it was just a joke, though. Yeah, so I don't know. I never, but when my sister had hers done, and she'll tell you herself when, if she comes back, she regrets doing it. Mm. And I would not, and my mom was, she goes, well, he, I said, nope, I'm not closing my gap for no reason. I was born with it, and I'm going to keep it. Here, here. If I could have kept my damn uh, 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 appendix, I would have kept those too. If I could have kept that one over, I would have kept that too. I was born with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one in my family with tonsils. Really? <clears throat> my oh, sisters, wow. my brother, my mom, they don't have tonsils. I'm the only one that has tonsils. They're lucky. Yeah, but what, girl... But when I have to go, it's always major fucking surgery. It's always an emergency surgery. I'm like, Jesus Christ. When I had to go for my ovary, I had a cyst. And I went and, I, you know, they, they, they take that thing and put up you, you know, with no foreplay. 
uh, and, you know, to get the camera up there and stuff. And mm -hmm. then uh, they called me on a Wednesday and told me that the doctor was going to schedule me for surgery after uh, after uh, Christmas. And I said, fine. I got a call on that Friday. They said, the doctor has scheduled you for surgery on December 7th. That was a Monday. I had, no, Thursday. Day. I went Wednesday. They called me Thursday. Thursday evening. So I had Friday to get ready for surgery. Monday morning at 6, I had to be at the hospital at 6 o'clock. What? Well, you know yeah. what? That's good because it doesn't give you a chance to like think too much about it. Just go get it done. Yep. But, you know, they had to go up to check to make sure it wasn't cancerous. They had to do the biopsy. And they go mm -hmm. up there and they snip. Girl, that hurts. So when Angela had to get that done on 90 days, I knew exactly what she was going through because I cursed that woman out so bad in there. They numbed me three times and I still felt every damn thing. I've had biopsies on my cervix. I had to go every six months for three rounds. Yep. So she I had that cancer. I had that scraping. I had that done about. I never had years the scraping because I had the cancer cells. And I was living in Virginia Beach mm -hmm. and they went in and they did that. I mean, they completely scraped my cervix because I had mm -hmm. cancer cells. Not me. And then they packed it with gauze and they tell you not to take a bath. You know how bad it hurt to go to the bathroom to pee? <laughs> and yeah, yeah it was, it was a painful surgery. But Mine, they just went in and took the, the the samples from 12 and 5. I'll never forget. Yeah, but they didn't well, six months. Okay, how long ago was that? That was that was less than 10 years ago. Okay, so mine was I said had to be 96, 97, 96, 97. Oh wow. Around that time. They did a full, I went in, I had my regular up checkup. The doctor mm -hmm. called me. He said they didn't like some things they saw, so I had to go do another one. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call. He said, we need you at the hospital at 6 o'clock, Virginia Beach Hospital. I, I said, for what? He goes, because you're having surgery. I said, what? He goes, it's, it's, it's outpatient. When you go in, they mm -hmm. keep you after, and then they release you the same day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to have that done. Yeah, if my third one had came back with abnormal cells. I would have had to go and get some sort of conal procedure where they take out a a chunk of flesh that looked like a cone in the the two trouble areas. Uh -huh. And um, they said it was outpatient, but um, I wasn't going to be able to to drive myself home. So they said bring someone with you, and I'm like they wanted to do it when the second one came back with abnormal cells and i was like let's try this again risking my life yep i had to go for like two was it two years three years mm -hmm. so now you know whenever i go i always get nervous and the one time i had the mammogram i had to come back and they wanted to do uh, a complete ultrasound and you know you go back to get the results they come in and they're really nice and then you see one person come in then you see the other person come in and you're like, oh, fuck. And then they're looking at you. And then they go, okay, well, everything looks good. I said, don't you ever do that to me ever, ever again. Don't ever come in here looking like I was, but it was like, I felt my whole body just go, because I was sitting there thinking, oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they come in. Oh, would you like somebody to be? Why would I need somebody to be here with me? For what reason? You know, and then, well, would you mind if the student nurse, I mean, if the student, yeah, the student nurse, I said, no, I don't want the fucking student nurse in here. Get me the goddamn doctor. Mm -hmm. And then both doctors come in. <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh God. God. Oh, Sarah, you had the cone thing? I missed mine. My third time going back for the biopsies came <clears throat> back normal, so I escaped it. But let me tell you, I was scared. My friend from the Bahamas was <clears throat> my person to come and be with me if I had to go and get the surgery. So I'm glad I missed that. I'm so Hi, sorry. Um, Hi, Gwen. She said, for what? For what? 
I don't know what she means for what by. Did I miss the question? Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the Slayton sisters before we get out of here. Okay. Wait, let me pull up my notes. I actually enjoyed this week's episode because it was, you know, not about Tammy. Oh, my God. Can I just say that right now she is a ward of the state? <gasps> they did do it? Uh, she actually, well, you're going to see, but if I don't know if you've noticed, but she's been losing a lot of weight when she's on Instagram. She is a ward of the state at this time. Wow. So maybe it is see? beneficial. Oh, I had surgery uh, to remove an ovary and I had surgery to remove an appendix and I had surgery to remove cancer cells in my cervix. Mm. But every time I seem to have surgery, it's always an emergency day and surgery. <laughs> always an emergency surgery. But I've learned my lesson when my appendix was about to burst. I had flown to Maryland. I was there. We were all over the place. I was there for like five days, four or five days. Flew back in the day before the 4th of July. We were off that Tuesday. I never forget. This was 2017. Because um, 4th of July was that um, Tuesday. No, that yeah, that Tuesday. So we were off Monday, Tuesday. Went back to work on Wednesday. Remember, I was on the floor in my, I flew back in. I was in my bathroom on the floor, curled up in the ball. ball. That's how much it hurt. It started hurting on the plane, but I thought it because I walked too much. And mm -hmm. I thought I pulled a muscle. And I get home, went to work on Wednesday. I'm walking. I felt like my insides were falling out. Thursday, Friday, I said, if I don't feel any better by the time I leave here, I will be going straight to the emergency room. At 8.05, an ambulance was at my job and I <laughs> to come get me. What? I went pale as a ghost. My my uh our Northwest, our North America um executive director was there and I was walking all of a sudden I couldn't walk anymore. I had to sit down. I started crying my hope. And they called an ambulance and he says, Heidi, I need you to do this for me. Now, when Robert talks to you, that tall, good looking man, and then the EMT, uh, one of the EMT people, her name was Heidi. She goes, I'm going to tell you a secret. I said, what? She goes, my name is Heidi, too. I said, no, you're not. You're white. Only black people. Are <laughs> white. <laughs> I didn't want to go. And she convinced me, hi, Isis, how are you doing? I've been following Robert, girl, I've been following every tweet um, for Rodney Reed. How are you doing, sweetie? But I'm telling you, I had, and then they took me, I finally agreed to go. And I got to St. John's. I had, they <laughs> took me and they did, I don't know if they did the, the ultrasound and they were prepping me for something else. And the call came, you know, the nurses wear the little thing on their things right now with the little mics and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they said, cancel whatever it was. They said, surgeon is on his way. I looked. She went, oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did tell me uh, if my appendix would have burst. Look at her up in her game, girl. $5.15. Girl, I'm so proud of you, Gene. Me and Jean were doing a battle the other night in Terry Lynn's thing. She would do five. I would do 501. She did 502. I did 503. Oh, my God. She did 10. I did 1001. <laughs> we just had a good time. But, yeah. Uh, but every – so, but my sister has no ovaries, no gallbladder, no – all her insides are gone. <laughs> Oh my God. I have a friend like that. Her appendix, her gallbladder, yeah. something else. Okay, KT. Okay, you're in Missouri. I'm in Texas. So I was at St. John's in, um, mm. what is it, League? What is it called? Not League City, because I worked in, um, I worked in League City, right outside of League City. So I went to St. John's close to Galveston, which is where I was at. 
So that's who did my emergency surgery. And my car was at my job. I left my BMW at the job because, of course, I went to ambulance. So I gave my sister. She came to the hospital. I gave her my keys uh, to get my car. And you know when people drive your car, it never turns out the same. Needless to say, I want you back no more. Yes, send them to me because I was looking and I don't see where they've made a decision yet. So send everything you have to me to my email address, sweetie. She's one of the advocates for Rodney Reed. She was at the trials and stuff. And yes, and she came on to give us play by play of what was going on. Uh, she sent me all the forensic files and everything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, I'm going to have to super chat myself, 521. Anyway, <laughs> what about, okay, what do you feel about Amy and her husband? Look, I'm happy that they, like, she says she's always wanted a home with the white picket fence. She has the baby. She wants more for herself. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys know, but Rodney Reed has been on death row mm -hmm. uh, for 20-something 20, 20 years for a murder. And I really feel that he did not commit. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys know Katie. She's a forensic professor. She looked at the evidence that was also sent. And he and then I had one of Rodney Reed's victims came up on my panel and she spoke about um i mean not rodney reed the ex-husband's victim who he he was a cop at the time he uh essayed her threatened her so she wouldn't talk but she did, still did uh if you guys haven't seen that i actually have it on my playlist uh she came up and she discussed it i do believe that her uh her ex-fiance is the one that committed that crime Now, I did see that they withheld evidence. I did see that. I did see that. But whatever you have, sweetie, yes. Oh, this woman is crazy. See what I'm saying? I love her. Uh, see, Jean, I got my earrings on. I have to show John my earrings. I have to show John that Jean loves me more. So, <laughs> but that is one trial that I follow, follow, follow. And Jeffrey's sentencing is in february i forgot the date is Jeffrey, it the, nice? this is the 90 day guy yes oh. i forgot the date because whatever date it is i know i said i was going to take off well i'll probably work from home so i can stream it and so everybody can be in there because he deserves to stay in jail for 25 years but um uh, i feel okay as far as thousand pound sisters go Mm -hmm. I think Tammy is a very ungrateful, disgusting slob of a person. The way she treats her family, I don't appreciate it. She doesn't give them any credit. She's always got, you know, she's hurting, but you're drinking, you're, uh, uh, you're vaping, you just want to live your life, but yet your whole family is worried about your nasty, slobby ass, excuse me. I'm not talking about big people. I'm talking about this big person. She's <laughs> disgusting. She has no care about her. You know, she wants, she feels that everybody owes her something. Mm -hmm. And I don't get into that because you've got your sister, your mother. Uh, you know, everybody's worried about Tammy. That's what she wants. Attention on her. Now, I want to know why is Amy's house only $37,000? Girl, can we... Can we move to Georgia? I mean, yeah. Can we move there and find me a $37,000 house with four bedrooms and one damn bathroom? Um, I don't, one, I don't want to live in Kentucky. Nothing against Kentucky, um, except Mitch McConnell. But I don't want to live in Kentucky. And her house, although it is really nice, but it has that um, Mama June sugar bear house feel where you have to I swear, from her bedroom, she went directly into Gage's bedroom. There was no hallway. It, that's how it was. Like, 
in order to get to the bathroom in Mama June's old house by the train track, yeah. you had to go through someone else's bedroom, her bedroom, then to get to the bathroom. Did you see that Sugar Bear is the is is, is actually divorcing his new wife? I forgot really? her name. Yes, they're divorcing. Good. They weren't. They shouldn't have been together anyway. She was nasty. I didn't like her. Yes, and I need the files from Julius Jones' case too. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, sweetie. Send them to my. Um, well, you have my. Yeah. Okay, you have my email. Just send them to my YouTube email. Thank you, baby. Oh, February third. Who's February third? Wait a minute. Um, Jeffrey sentencing. Okay. That's Friday. Next Friday. What a good birthday present. I'll be working from home like I am tomorrow and I'll be streaming. I'll be working from home and then I fly out. No, that's Thursday. Thursday. I'll work from home because the fourth is Friday. I fly out the fifth. Uh, oh, yeah. I, oh, damn. That's next Saturday. Yes. My flight is at seven o'clock in the damn morning. God damn. Okay. You sleep on the plane. Yeah, I'm gonna have to because I need to pack and I need to go get a couple of things for Vegas. What do you mean? What homemade subs? What did you miss? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What? Really? Really? What? What am I missing? I think they're reacting to the date for the um for the sentencing. Oh, happy birthday, JG. February 4th is your Wait birthday. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is JG's birthday? On February 4th. On February 4th. Oh. And the Aquarius baby. She told me she was two days before me. Happy birthday, early birthday, girl. But I got to remember. Wait a minute. February 3rd. JG. Another no, Aquarius. February 4th. February 4th. 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 JG. Yeah. Another Aquarius. Girl, That's I right. missed one of my really good friends' birthday was day before yesterday. Another one of my friends' birthday is uh, the 31st. Guarantee I'm going to forget. I remember now, but watch, I'll forget on the 31st. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Get me. Yes. Yes. Give me that information. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is a treasure trove. Yes. Girl, I don't left messages today for wardens, for everything. I got I got numbers that I shouldn't have because my friends actually work at these prisons. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, Sugar Bear and his wife are getting divorced. He filed, not her. He filed, not her. Probably because she lost too much weight and he liked big old fat women. Oh, good Lord. Yes, ma'am. That is me. That is me. A true. Y'all need to read that sign because I'm true to my sign. <laughs> I don't know, Chris. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> here, here. Debbie, when's your birthday? Four days after yours. Get the <laughs> hell out of it. Wait a minute, Debbie. The chip. I got you, Debbie. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get you something from Vegas. And I owe you two things. So um, I, I need to get you your rose and I'm going to get you something from Vegas. Dustin's birthday is the 28th. My granddaughter's is the 26th. I'm writing this stuff down, guys. The 28th. So I don't forget. What she did? When did she get that execution date? Wait, who's being executed? Melissa well, Lucio, what does she do? See, I haven't been in Texas. I haven't been following all of this. Is she at Polanski or is she at Huntsville? She should be at Polanski if she's on death row. And then they transfer her. Hi, living in gratitude. Thank you. It's scary that you know the facilities for death row. Because my baby worked at Polanski and I have, I didn't realize I have lots of friends that, that work at different units until today. <laughs> I made one phone call. I was like, okay. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh my God. Sarah Z, I'm going to need your birthday too. She got it two weeks ago. Okay. I'm not in Texas anymore. So you know what? I ooh, I am actually working full time, which listening to Terry Lynn 24 7 a day. But I. <laughs> <laughs> I think tomorrow I'm not listening to nothing because tomorrow is my report out day. It's gonna be she's in Huntsville. Okay. Okay, because okay, so what they do is before they get exit, they, they used to house all the inmates in Huntsville. So they keep them at Polanski, and then like the week before their execution, they transfer them to Huntsville. So all death row was being kept at Polanski. Hmm. Oh my God. Sassy Neuro Girl had a birthday. Monday, was it, sweetie? Was it Monday or was it Sunday? Monday. She had a birthday. Hmm. Yes, July 3rd. The day before the fourth. How the hell can I forget that? Jean Wilson. I'm going to put it on my calendar. I got to make one for all the birthdays for everybody that belongs on the channel. Uh, July 3rd. Dustin is the 28th of February. 210 is Debbie. February 4th is JG. Oh, damn. She done upped her game. She got 526. 526. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Darlie is in. She's outside of Dallas, Fort Worth somewhere. I forgot. But they did a live on her the other night. Darlie is not. I'm going to have to make sure because Darlie wasn't in Huntsville. But I'll find out where Darlie is. I'll find out because you go to the Vine, you find out what unit they're at. And then you, oh, Gwen, April 24th, got you, Gwen. April 24th. Sassy Nerd Girl, January 17th. She was on vacation. So, Darlie Routier. I still think Damien knows everything that happened. I think he set that shit up. I think he did it on purpose. He divorced her right after. Uh, all of her appeals were over with. Uh, Brenda J, July 13th. Brenda Faye, I said Brenda J. 713. Okay, got you, girl. All right, so I do believe that her husband, I say Damien, Darren, Darren, I think he actually did it. I think that he set it up. <laughs> oh! How you know I got a bail? I got a bail fund, a medical fund. I got a casino fund. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jean, all of your wonderful donations tonight will be going towards the Heidi birthday medical fund. So, you know what? I'm going to have to get Amber to give me a birthday party. Uh, or unless Addie wants to do it. But I need a birthday party. And I need all cash donations. Because this is going to be one hell of a weekend. <laughs> I can lie and say I'm feeding the homeless or I'm buying blankets and tents. But... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> she will oh also God. take your donations of Snoop Dogg uh, Red or the Rosé. Hi, JG. I love you, baby. Bye. I'm oh. sure I'm going to see you in somebody's chat tomorrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Jean, there is no competition, baby. Look, guys, look, uh, I, I do not, uh, um, I appreciate all the super chats. Trust me, I do. But I come in, we come in to have fun. I don't look to see, oh, you're sending me this. You No, I don't do that. I have fun. But I but I do need a casino fund. I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> I need a casino fund. I'm going gambling. <laughs> <laughs> you need a restaurant fund too, because aren't you going to that place? You need the Uber to go to that. What's no, the name of the place that you're going to? 
Look, I told my sister, we were talking about our trip, right? I told her I'm leaving all my cards at home. I said, I'm only going to take 1K mm -hmm. to gamble in the shop and one card for food. And she fell out laughing. I'm like, why is this bitch laughing? She's probably laughing because she knows I'm lying. <laughs> because I can't. I can't leave my cards at home. You never look, it's you never leave home without it. You need to have it with you. Yeah, because I'm going, what? No. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Hi, LaDonna. LaDonna, you ain't kidding. My cousin's name is LaDonna. And well, she's deceased now, but I, 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 my cousin's name was LaDonna. Oh my God. I see. Oh, Debbie, this is our Thursday. I'm having a good time with you. I am too. Oh my God. I, you well, know, I'm getting my email. Okay. I'm, what? I'm listening. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, 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 cards. I'm not going to type it in because I might mess up. So I'm just going to copy and paste. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Don't laugh at me, Debbie. I've been drinking. Never, never. Hi, Stephanie. Yeah, but I put it in the chat for you, baby. Yeah, because if I try to type it, trust me, I'll I'll mess up, and she'll be sending. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But uh, I'm gonna have to spend. Addie, I gotta spend um, either this Friday or next Friday with you before I leave. Um, I think that's what I'll do. So you and I can have a pre-birthday because Addie's not going with me to Vegas. Um, I am not going to Louisiana for Mardi Gras. I'm not going to go home because of the spread. I'm not going down there because I came out of there when this shit started with that shit, with, C with the C-19. Mm. Oh, oh, Debbie. <laughs> No, I bail her out. Wait a minute. That is I, so I'm choking. I, I do not accept calls from prisons or jails. Jean, you are closer to me than Debbie. You are right there. Why am I going to go <laughs> me out when I can just call you or Addie or Kirk? Look, <laughs> what does Sly say? What is Sly say? I didn't see it. Oh my God. Y'all got me going to prison. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the emergency room. <laughs> it's going to be a good birthday. What are you talking about? No. My sister. Oh my God. My sister's going to run me ragged that weekend. But As we're going to have a should. Time. You know what the best part is? It's my sister and some really good friends of mine, not people I don't know of hers so <laughs> wait are you referencing the last trip where that lady came? oh my god girl I had to put that bitch out my house and she was waiting for it can you I, I said she was talking about my sister with some dumb shit I said oh you gonna get the fuck out of here I said you got to go put her out I don't give a shit no how rude me rude her the first day we got to Vegas, I called my boyfriend and I told him, he said, babe, you just got there. You don't know her that well. I said, she rubbed me wrong on the plane. She rubbed me wrong when they got to Houston, when we picked them up from the bus stop the day before we got on the plane. She rubbed me wrong. First of all, she was sitting in my living room trying to eat. She left. Uh, then she sat at the table, left crumbs. You rubbed me wrong. You have no home training. So we... So we're getting the luggage, and I'm like, okay, so what hotel are you staying at? And she, and my sister goes, oh, she's staying with us in a room. I said, what? Look, what? <laughs> On the ride to the hotel, my sister told her, my sister doesn't like nobody. I said, bitch, you better take note. Oh, girl, that was, that oh, was a God. trip. <laughs> Look at G. G. I don't care if you wash your hair or not. You don't wash your hair, Jean. You shampoo your hair. You wash your clothes and you wash dishes. Okay, Jean? Thank you. <laughs> That's okay, Jean. I'll be washing my hair. <laughs> <coughs> no, but I tell you, but anything. 
All right, Debbie, what else you have to say about the Slayton sisters before we get out of here, girl? Um, I, Jamal and I want a spinoff TLC, and we've said this. We want, you know, a percentage of the ad revenues from our new show, Raising Gage, where it will be Amanda guiding Amy in raising little baby Gage and the newest baby. We don't that want that might happen, anymore. but I can't believe that Amy's house was only thirty seven thousand. She said, well, didn't she say they had to do renovations, like do the floor? Yeah, but they bought the house for 37 k so I guess it was in bad shape. But yeah, yeah the duplex they were living in is estimated, well, is that 239 k How is that? Maybe because it's a rental property? And maybe because they got all that, that land around it? Oh, okay. Because I don't see that building itself as 239K. Maybe it's several duplexes that are on the plot. I only saw those two. Oh, well, there goes that. Yeah, so I'm just like, yeah. And then this whole thing with Jen Nugent, okay. And then we have Jen Shaw, who's trying to make the federal judge um give her a date for her court will make the, the the courts give her a thing tasha k lost her case and four million dollars but she, she says tasha she's appealing k. right huh she says she's appealing right yep but if she's appealing she doesn't have to pay right away right i would appeal too she <laughs> I'm just like four. I thought it was gonna be like one, maybe eight hundred and fifty k, four million dollars. Maybe I don't know. I I gotta give a look. I, I I don't care. I gotta give her much respect. She has built that. She has built it. She's crossed that that one million thresh. She has <laughs> built her thing, and okay. You took a story or you took something that was hearsay. You ran with it. Okay. A lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. uh, do I think it was malicious. No, I don't. I don't feel it was malicious at all. But she had opportunities to settle out of court. Why didn't she just do that? I don't know. I don't know if it was bad legal advice or she didn't. I don't know. It, you know, it depends to me on what was presented to me to settle you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you don't know what was presented to her to settle did she also say in court that she knew it was a lie yet she still ran with it she said that she knew that who the person that told it to her who was was it lovely t i think that she said that is not confirmed and she ran with it because the person that said it couldn't be trusted or whatever. Oh. Ooh, ooh, girl. Yes. Stop. 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 <coughs> that mattress cover. But they left it on when they put it in the oh, new house. The house. <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking. Ruth, I'm going to kill you for that. That was they gross. They were dragging that mattress. But it's not just the the side. It's the whole mattress. It's yellow. It's disgusting looking. Did you see the cover? It's like they never took this shit off the mattress and washed it. Do you change your gunk damn sheets? Did you see how nasty that was? But my thing is, why was the mattress so heavy? It only gets heavy when it's got skin particles and skin and particles and it's old. It. Yes. Gwen, okay. I'm gonna be honest. I only um listen to recaps about the trial. I did not follow her trial. All I know is I heard that was said that lovely T, I think that's her mm -hmm. name. If I'm if I'm wrong, please forgive me. Uh gave Tasha. Kay a tip about some lady 
that said these things about Cardi B, but mm -hmm. she said that she doesn't believe it was true and the woman couldn't be trusted. That's what I heard. Now, I did not hear Tasha's case testimony on the trial, mm -hmm. nor have I went to look at the transcripts. I know she gave her speech yesterday, I think, or the day before she said that the transcripts will be available soon. I haven't looked at the transcripts. I'm only going by what I heard. So if mm -hmm. I've mistaken, if she said she lied, I don't know. I really don't know. I only know what I heard from another recap that I was listening to. Yeah, I, I heard that she said she went up there and lied, but I did not. I haven't had time to to follow up with it. Yeah, I haven't had time, and I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I haven't had time to follow up on it. I did hear that lovely. Who did the recap that I listened to? Oh, it was the Lithuanian, the Lithuanian, uh, King Payne. He's the Lithuanian. Mm -hmm. I heard him doing it, and he goes, and I whoop, and I whoop. <laughs> so. Oh. Another YouTuber was actually reading the, the transcripts from the trial day by day. Um, the Brooke Ashley. She the Ashley. The, yeah. The, okay, I didn't. But yeah, I happened to uh, click on uh, King Payne's live. And I saw, and he was going through, and he said that Lovely T gave her a tip. And he was reading it. And she stated uh, she doesn't know if it's true or not, and that the person that told her couldn't be trusted. That That's what I heard, and I have not looked into it. I did not, and I'm going to be honest, I did not follow Tasha Kay's trial. I didn't follow KJ's situation, but uh, I just happened to click on him when I was at work one day, and there was no other live going on, and I was listening to him. She told Cardi to pay her to take down the video, even if Ooh. it was So that's kind of like blackmail. Oh. When I did not, oh, yes. You know I didn't what? know that. Something that I did not look into, and I am so sorry, but I have not looked into it. I just heard King Payne reading court stuff that happened that day i went in there and that's how i know and i saw that somebody else did something that says tasha k is going to win and from everything that i was hearing she wasn't winning from the little bits and pieces i was getting she wasn't winning but somebody mm -hmm. said she was going to win and i'm like i don't think she's winning this one but i have not really paid attention thank you gwen but when the transcripts become available I think I'll check. I'm definitely going to look and see. But I didn't know she testified because somebody said that she did take the stand and I didn't know what she testified to. Mm -mm -mm. Just like I said about Fallon, when she went on that other YouTuber on, uh, on Adam's channel, when I watched that interview with her, I looked at her and all I saw was lies. I don't care if she had on white. She was lying through her damn teeth. She did another interview with um, Tisha Tells or T T Tisha, uh, Tasha Tattles, something like that. And Ooh. it was a much better interview. So w what other channel did she interview on? Tisha Tells? Tisha, I've never heard of it, but I'm going to check it out. But I saw the interview... And when I saw it, and you know, I I like Adam. I I follow Adam when he was trying to when he first when he mm -hmm. when he got to his uh, five minute ten thousand so he can get the merch whatever. I followed, but when I saw that interview, I watched it, and I'm gonna I'll be honest, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Her body language told me everything I needed to know. She was lying. She was trying to set the stage. She was trying to. Now whatever Simon and Portia did, I don't know. I think it. It was well known. I think it was a whole me personally. I think that it was a swinging situation. That's my opinion. Don't know. But I just think the way she was handling the whole situation and then the next day Simon puts the videos out there with the guy and how they're sneaking. I was like, 
yep, she was lying. And everybody kept saying she was pregnant. No, she said she wasn't. Oh, but she was pregnant. Oh, she was. Mm -mm. Okay, Tisa tells. Okay. Yeah, Tisa tells. Yeah. Damn, Addie knows all of these things. I don't know these people. She did. She did a really nice interview on there, and it wasn't as. It was just the two of them, like how we are. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was a lot more honest. Okay. And and I'm like two that. girlfriends talking, so you you would open up more. Yeah. And be freer to talk. I thought okay. that Adam's interview was a lot more staged than what she Yeah, did. and I saw he did an interview with Mary Cosby's uh, mom and stuff. Now, mm -hmm. Mary Cosby's cousin and I talk all the time, her first cousin. Mm -hmm. We talk all the time on IG. Um, he was going to come on, what was this? June or July. He's the one that gave me the story about her husband, no, her and her son uh, going to court for aiding and abetting a minor. He gave me that story before it even hit, and I posted oh it. God. And that's when I laughed so bad. I said, I beat all about the tea to a story. <laughs> Wait, who screwed him over? Come on now. Who, oh, never mind. We mind. already know. Okay, let me be clear. Up and Adam had his channel before he started going on the other channel because Amber actually vetted Up and Adam for her former employee, employer. So let's make that clear. Yeah, so he already had his channel. I'm going to go watch that interview, but... Um, and this whole thing with what is it, Jen Nugent on the Real Housewives of uh, Salt Lake City? Jenny. <sighs> oh, Jenny, yeah. I didn't like her when the show first started. That's when I stopped. When when she started coming in, I stopped watching. I haven't watched them since she made her first appearance. Really? I just thought like I didn't like her. It was something for, about her that just. Well, it was her first Lisa. season. There was, wasn't anything much there, you know. Um, She's not in the wrong way, and and it's the same thing. But like, what's her face on Beverly Hills? Who? The Asian chick. Uh, I forgot her name. Chris. Um, Christine. Crystal. No. Crystal. 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 Rubs me the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Don't like her. But New Jersey starts. I'm excited for New Jersey to start. I We're not covering it. You're not? The housewives just aren't doing it for us. I think. Debbie, and last year we got suckered by New Jersey. It came out strong and then it ended with a fizzle. Debbie, this season of Jersey is going to be good. Trust me. It's, it's good. all about Teresa and we're tired. No, of not, no, 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 no. This year it's going to be good. Watch mm -hmm. it. Even if you don't cover it, just watch it. Okay. I'll do that. Even if you don't cover it, watch it. But um, I, girl, I don't want to let you go because I miss out with Friday. I miss out with Thursday. <laughs> You're a mess. I encourage you to drink too much. I know, but look, look. Mm. How many how many refills have I done? Three. Oh, let me do another little sip. Anyway, okay, um, there you go. So. So we have that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to binge Miami. Um, I was supposed to binge Miami, but so much shit happened this week. Uh, I'm going to have to binge. I'm, I don't think I'm going to sleep. Like this past weekend, I had migraines. So I slept the whole weekend because I knew I had a busy day. Today, I had an interview at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And it, it screwed up with my, uh, I had a business third quarter business review and well i didn't have an interview um a peer of mine asked me to interview a potential candidate and uh, i forgot all about it she sent me a message i said not today i said you need to you can't tell me 
five hours or the night before you scheduled this interview because that don't work with my schedule. So uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't get into that and I didn't do it. So I told her if she wants me to do it. I'll do a Zoom interview for it, but I just couldn't do the time she wanted. Wait, I have a question for you. Are You're watching 90 Day, right? Yes. What did you think about Jimena and Mike and her saying that she didn't like certain things about him, like the farts and the burps and the skid marks and all of that? What's your opinion on that? Mike is nasty and gross. He's 34 years old and he should be better at picking up behind himself because especially the fact that he supposedly is a caregiver for his father and grandfather. Okay. I think, I think, uh, but for her, you know, I get what she's saying, but she wants somebody to take care of her kids, but he's 34 years old. What the hell you got skid marks in your underwear for? I know. Why do you throw your clothes? Okay. Oh God, no, I can't. You're a grown ass man. No. And he told me he's going to work on it. <laughs> Gwen, I'm going to try very hard to give you a call this weekend. But if you don't hear from me by Saturday, call me on Sunday. Okay? I'm going to try very hard. Yeah, she was with a hitman, but you know, if the hitman doesn't have skin <laughs> marks, then you know he's not that what bad. Really? I'm sorry, Debbie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this it's like um the fact that okay. Mm -hmm. I don't believe what she said. Well, I'm sorry. She could have had a lot of pain, whatever. But I think the fact that she was so loose, she didn't want to get pregnant again. She already has two baby daddies. I get it. You know, you got so part of that I understand. Um, at first I wasn't into Yamina and I thought she was a user. I still think she is, but I think she's coming. Uh the fact the stuff that he does bother her. That says that she has some kind of care for him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't care, it wouldn't bother you. But it's this, it's his first time meeting her. And like someone in our chat, I think it was Ryan. Ryan was saying he pays for that house. So he could go in there and he could fart and he could burp. He could do whatever he yep. wants. Yes. However, it's your first time meeting a romantic interest. Wouldn't you want to? And put your best foot them. forward and like okay so maybe and i was trying to make excuses i was like well maybe the diet um he's not used to eating non-processed food yeah. it's more beans which could be gaseous you know more but um, the fiber well, come on debbie I'm I, I was trying to make excuses and i was like if he is having a little tummy trouble and if he is having skid marks wouldn't you hide those in a plastic bag that you brought in your suitcase and yep, like I'll wash them out in the bathroom I, wash I, them out i in this just like i'm saying this is what i would do as a normal rational person who would be embarrassed and then i'm like if he's just throwing them on the floor that's what he does at home and he sees nothing wrong with it <sighs> Dr. Melanie! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Melanie, you haven't called me. I haven't talked to you in three weeks. Is it three? Mm -hmm. Yes, three weeks. Okay, I'll pick out something just for you. I'm going to pick out a plant. Something cheap and simple. Oh my God, Melanie, thank you for the super chat. Hi, my love, please pick out something for your apartment. I've been so sick and can't seem to stay out of the hospital. I love you and miss you and still, I love you Aww. too, Melanie, you know that. Oh my God, Melanie, you know what? I gotta take a trip to see you. I gotta come see you. Um, after my Vegas trip, which is next weekend, Give me a month. I'm going to come spend the weekend with you. Well, at least three days. I'm coming to see you. 
I promise you. I'm going to fly to see you. Look at her. Look at the eyes on this. Look at the yeah. eyes. On... You look so sad. I love you, baby girl. We'll talk. I don't need anything. You sent me that. Uh... Come on now. I already got the cooker. That damn thing. I love it. Oh, Melanie. Thank you, baby. I love you. Oh, yeah. He was raised by wolves. <laughs> I even tried to make an excuse for that, trying to figure out when his um his mom passed. Like maybe he didn't have like the finishing touches. But look at his brother. No, look at his brother. He is the older brother. Mike, Mike is the older brother. The other brother brother is younger. Right. But another thing too, someone mentioned in our chats, if he's never had real relationships since high school, eighteen. Right then a lot of things could be left undone. <sighs> but skid marks is a lot for me. I draw skid the line marks. at skid marks. Okay, I can tell you right now, my grandson is, girl, I thought my grandson was 10. Right. I was talking, so my son, I, I'm going to tell y'all a funny story. No, I can't tell y'all because it might go all over the internet. I'm going to have to tell this one on the members only. So my son called me the other day. And I was like, oh, my God, he is 10. He was like, Ma, no. He turned 11. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me think. He was like, you remember? You gave him that party. You took him out. You went to the resort. I was like, oh, shit, he's 11. And I went, oh, my God. That means Cal is 13. Turning, he goes, no, 14. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just like lost. He was like, I think that altitude has gotten. <laughs> <laughs> so my granddaughter and her dad was talking, right? And I was like, so my son calls me. He goes, hey, are you working from home? I said, no, I'm in the office. He was like, yeah, your granddaughter. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm I, I'm serious. I'm gonna do a members only. I'm gonna do a members only live um, tomorrow when I take a break. I'm gonna do a members only live. It's gonna be a quick. So I gotta tell y'all this story. My granddaughter. I think I'm gonna strangle her. <laughs> I'm gonna strangle that little heifer. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna strangle her. I'm gonna strangle her. <laughs> I'm just gonna strangle her, but. I can't, I can't remember. And like, so my son's daughter was born the day before his birthday. Now we laughed and we talked all on that day. And January 8th rolled around and I knew something was bugging me. So around 8.30 my time, 11.30 Maryland time, I sent my son a message. I said, oh shit, today was your birthday. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He was like, Ma, I talked to you earlier. I was like, I know he was calling me about the baby on his birthday. We were texting back and forth and it hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. I miss my son's birthday. 11.30 his time. I said, yeah. I said, blame mommy. I said, it. I, I think it's called uh, onset uh, 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 dementia. He was like, yeah, okay, dementia. I, it's just so much was going on. I forgot. I didn't forget, but I forgot my oldest son's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I forgot. I remember I was talking to Kayla on her birthday and we were just laughing and talking. The next day I realized I went, oh, shit. I forgot it was her birthday. And I called her back. I said, Grandma's a bad grandma. I forgot your birthday. She was like, it's okay, Crema. You have a lot of your mind. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm bad. My grandmother was in her 90s and she remembered everybody's damn birthday. Everybody. See, I feel like you have a great memory. Like, I don't remember anything. It was just so much going on. And Debbie, if I tell you what was going on, it was just so much going on. And, but I can remember the days. But then if I don't look at a calendar, like my mother's birthday, January 4th, I called her about, I called her, I normally call her at midnight. I called her at 10 o'clock that morning. 
my dad's birthday. So much shit is going on. And I have to set reminders on my phone. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, someone to his birthday. Because I know the dates. I know it. Yeah, you know which granddaughter I mean. That little heifer. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the birthdays. It's just when the day comes. It's just, I have so much right now going on. And my son laughed so hard at me. I said, yeah, I got onset dementia. He was like, yeah, yeah, all right, onset dementia. I said, and normally he would have had, because I sent him a book, a mystery book every year. I hadn't even ordered his book. I was so busy ordering roses. (laughs) I forgot. (laughs) Look, yeah, my birthday snuck up and and i'm telling you i'm gonna tell you when i was gonna remember when i got my reminder from the airlines that it's time for me to check in that's what i was going to remember <laughs> girl you better pack now and just put it in the trunk of the, the car. I, am, I, I just have a few things that i need to go pick up for vegas i mean specifically for vegas i have a few things to pick up for vegas take your rose with you I don't need no damn rose. I'm going to ruin it my sister. Oh, I got to order my sister's rose. Thank you. Oh, shit. I forgot to order her rose. Why not just give her yours? You know what? No, because she's already seen mine. Right, but all you're doing is massaging your eyeball with it. Just give it to her. <laughs> let her put it to good use. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to let her put it to good use. You're right. I'm going to bring this one to, and I'm just going to order me another one because I forgot to order her rose. I did. I forgot to order her rose. Yep. And that's right. If your boys, I'm telling you, um, I guess, wipes, baby wipes, baby wipes. My grandson is 11. I remember. There is no skid marks in his underwear. No I skid mean, marks. He's grown. He should know better. And him just tossing it to the side means that he does that at home. And he felt comfortable enough with her to do the same mess. I just got to go back to Dr. Melanie. Mm-hmm. Oh. I love her. I love her husband, her kids. I got to go to Michigan. Well, sorry. I I, I have to go pay her a visit. (laughs) I got to go pay her a visit. Crazy Cat Mama is dealing with some things. Um, She's going to be away for a while, but she's dealing with some stuff that she needs to take care of. And um, so, but she's watching. She's watching, but you guys don't know. I I just, I miss you guys a lot, but I will not. Oh God, I'm going to try to work this out. So Debbie, we already know, what is it? Next Thursday is February 3rd. Yeah. You'll be on court duty. But that's morning. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so we'll come live again for, is married at first, isn't it a break next week? No, the week after that. Okay, okay. Okay, so we'll be live next Thursday. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Colleen with the K, thank you. You know, that is my game. She thinks I'm playing. That is my game, the 100 Lions. That well, is my game. Is that a slot? Yes, a slot game. Ah. Okay, anything with dragons and lions and Buddhas. <laughs> okay, makes sense. You know what? Look, y'all got to stop sending me a, 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 a super stickers because I'm going to need cash. I'm going to need cash apps. I'm going to get paid again to the 21st of February from Google. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Look, y'all gotta send me some cash because hey, look, look, I ain't gonna get no money. Oh my God. I filed, look, I, I did my taxes 
you know how you could go into into it and you do your taxes so mm -hmm. i had to file regular and then i had to file well i did it both ways i did it independent and this and i i, I look i started doing this look i was like who was that <laughs> I got it. I have 24 dependents. Okay. Somebody needs to contribute again to the, the bail fund because the IRS is going to come for her. I have 24 dependents. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you, Gwen. I love me and Debbie's <laughs> life. She's always like our lives. I <laughs> thank you. Uh, I miss Debbie. I miss Debbie. And I couldn't, as soon as I saw her, when they told me that Meredith first sight started, I said, Debbie, it started already. Well, said, wait, Meredith at first sight, Australia season nine starts on January 31st. Okay. I'm going to be like, are a you and Jamal shit. covering that? Are you and Jamal covering that? We have to find, um, it's not coming on lifetime. This is the actual current series in Australia. So it's starting in Australia on monday um well, how do we find it so so we can I cover watched, it first i watched all of last season on youtube so i will be searching on youtube for it and i'm i i am all a quiver because this is the most ratchet whorish version of of maths ever so how do we get it youtube so do you want to cover that one too? Yeah, if we can, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be on the hunt for it. And okay. the, the, the you, hunt, you let me know. Yeah. And if we can cover that, that's fine too. We'll cover mm -hmm. it. Because, then we'll tell um, everybody where to find it at. But uh, uh, cheaper, what is it? So freaking cheap is coming back with three of the couples that was from last season. I'm excited. I've been talking to Caroline in the city. Well, Caroline and her fiance, mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to get them on. They're trying to double check. I told them we don't have to talk about what's coming up, but we can talk about last season. So I've been working. Oh, damn, Sarah got all 20. All y'all gonna get locked up with all these dependents. I got 24. I don't give a shit what y'all say. And then after I file my taxes, I'm gonna change it back to zero. I don't give a shit. No, I'm just joking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, it starts Monday, Ablavi. Monday, I cannot wait. Um, and marrying millions needs to come back. I don't even care if they have the the um the Hutchinson. Oh guy. my God! No, we need to get the one with the gay guy that was really not. We need to get the uh married yes, millions happy the, ever the guy after. that makes the wine in yes, in, we need in, to get him in Washington. Love him. Susan said, mm -hmm. "This is like old times." Rodney, that's his name. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be doing an update on that. Oh, wait a minute. I got notes. Hold on. So I got notes. So Mallory Beach's family filed a $50 million claim against the estate of Maggie and Paul Murdoch. Uh, so this is, they're filing against not the dad, not the convenience store they filed against maggie and paul uh we're going to be doing an update on, on on the duggars see i got notes we're going to be the update on the duggars uh we talked about the slaytons um what else hold on that's other stuff so these are things that i have to update you guys on so i will be doing that hi sammy joe Okay, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get Katie on that too because she's my forensics person. She's a forensics uh, professor. If there's any forensic files in there, uh, I have three paralegals and I have a lawyer, so we're gonna be looking through it. Damn. Ooh, a lot of effery. Susan, is your husband drinking? Tell him Snoop is. Tell him Snoop is here tonight. Oh my God. Yes. And they're, they've already um, singled out the one girl that they think is going to be the villain. Um, I think her name is Tamara. Um, she's a miss. I love it. 
I'm so excited. Wait, where did she go? What's going on? What's happening? Is she going to get more wine? Wait, did anybody out here see the um the the reunion fashions for the Real Housewives of Miami? They were so much better than the Salt Lake City reunion dresses. Oh my god. I know I'm just veering off on different subjects, but you know, my mind wanders. Much like Heidi. Heidi, where are you? Uh, okay. I'm here. I had a call that just came through that I had to take real quick. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I said I'd be right back. You didn't hear my phone. I had to take that call real quick. No. Mm -mm. So wait. You think that Memphis had Hamza's baby? Okay, the rumor is that Hamza and Memphis were married and that she was pregnant. Then you see all the stuff on IG when he's talking about his future mother-in-law. I don't know, but Memphis' um, ex, Memphis to me, and I'm going to tell you guys, you guys watch me and John. John seems to like her a lot. I've mm -hmm. always said something's wrong with her. I think she's a fraud. I think she's a liar. Maybe not a fraud. She has low self-esteem. She has no confidence in herself. Mm -hmm. And that wig on her head drives me nuts. I can't get over people with these goddamn wigs. Maybe if I buy one or put some, maybe I'll feel better. But I, the wigs just look super. They need a Porsche. Hair by Porsche. Get Porsche's wigs. They look real. Shit. But she has a new haircut, and I really like it. It's like actually the her hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's very flattering. Love it. Ooh, Ablavi says, uh, Ablavi, if you want to come up and discuss Miami, you can. She said, they're pissing her off. Girl, oh. get you some Snoop Dogg. That's all I'm going to say, but I'm drinking mm -hmm. it in a Huff glass. I got to get a Snoop Dogg glass. Can y'all get a hold of Snoop Dogg and tell him that no, I need it's a Isn't it a chalice or something? Like he drinks out of like Yeah, a but I don't want a chalice because I don't want to taste any metal. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, unless it's glass, I don't want no metal. It is kind oh, of messy, but she has three Thank babies three baby daddies. Oof. She is fake. I don't like her. I think she just needs like intense therapy. She's had a really hard life, and I don't think that she's managed managed okay, the emotional Let me fallout. drop the link for you. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Let me drop it. Got it. I'm gonna drop it for Blavi. I didn't think we were gonna be on this long, Debbie, but we're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, Married at first sight. Wait a minute. Maps. Is that MAF South Africa? I heard that MAF's New Zealand is pretty good. South too. America. Oh, that's South America? New Zealand, South America, woman. Oh. They doing a whole continent? Guys, I'm going to tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. Susan, we were talking via IG. She's got this beautiful, silvery hair. Mm -hmm. I was telling, I was like, okay. So her husband is happy now because we're back on Snoop Thursdays. So her husband's happy. <laughs> Even when he had his little surgery, his little procedure done, tell me he wanted to drink. I said, he better not. <laughs> That's a no-no. Addie, if you want to hit the link, you can come up too. I I'm just like, oh God. You realize we've been on for almost two and a half hours? Mm -mm. Debbie's like, mm -mm. a blobby. I dropped the link for you. Where are you, girl? But, girl, so what other shows have we missed talking about? Real Housewives of OC, they didn't come on this week. 
I watched the one where they went when uh, Noella finally got to the island. I can't stand her. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, we got to talk. We First of all, we got to talk about 90 Day Fiance. That's right. I am so sick of these, these <laughs> garden tools, these strumpets, these gold diggers that don't want to dig no gold, these stupid men with the, the gnome. Every, every creature is on this season, and I'm sick of it. I feel like I'm watching a Greek mythology and seeing all types of foolishness. So... Who do you think is going to make it? And oh, wait a minute. No, no. Tell me about Usman. Tell me about Usman. And Let me tell you really something. I am so glad that I am not Nigerian because he and Michael have embarrassed the country for a century. I can, I, I mean, you already was eating up Lisa. So why can't you eat up Kimbali? He doesn't want Kimberly. <laughs> she is a super fan. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> See, this is what I mean by doing foolishness. How are you going to another country? I need to get on Usman's level. Where women are where women are just buying me X um PS5s, Apple computers, giving me Ooh. so much money I can buy a house in my country. I mean, this Anna is foolish. And a Mercedes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So remember, remember, they pay for Mercedes in cash. They don't yep. finance it. Mm -mm. I just, I just can't with him. <coughs> I'm tired of the dread. <coughs> I'm tired of the dusty. I, you know, I'm getting tired of every black person being a rapper. Y'all don't have no hits. You're not charting. Your SoundCloud ain't popping. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ablavi, you just made me remember something I wrote down. Somebody had a black balloon. Hold on, hold on. Okay, Yasmina and Michael had a black balloon on their bed. I took offense to that. Why was there a black balloon on the bed? Because they're black? Why wasn't there a purple balloon? Why not a yellow balloon? It was a black balloon on the bed. Oh, I just thought they blew up a condom because nobody was having a fun time. I don't know, but I, I I I took offense to that because it was a black balloon and it's a black couple. I, I thought they meant something by that and I just took offense to it. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna be messy, can we talk about Cynthia and not understanding the assignment on Atlanta? You're not supposed to get a bad marriage after you leave the show. You're supposed to have the bad marriage while you're on the show. Oh, my Jesus. Wait a minute. Are we talking about Cynthia Bailey? Yes. Talking about my marriage might not make it to the second year. First, she was with okay. Did you not know that Mike was caught within a month of the wedding sexting with somebody? Yeah. He's an old. He's an old. You listen. Atlanta, I want to see my storyline, and Debbie knows what it is. I'm ready to see them leave their wife for a man, and I feel like Atlanta's the perfect place. Is that going to be Candace? I, I don't know, because, you know, I, I want to see it, though. I want to see Candace leave for a woman. Well, I'm sorry, Candy, because, you know, she and Todd have the dungeon, and they swing, and he has his, uh, uh, his ladies in the club, she has her other women, uh, and then T.I. and Tiny, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for them to flip-flop like they did in well, Sex and I... City. Uh, and just like that, when Miranda left her husband mm -hmm. to be with, you know, her, that other one. Yeah, okay. Well, I need yeah. a reference of um, Todd's business contacts and why he's an accountant. <laughs> I can't pay his tax bills. I, I really don't understand it. <laughs> make it make sense. You're supposed to be the brains in this relationship. <laughs> A block. Look, she's just sitting back eating nuts on chips and Debbie just chewing. <laughs> I just want to know, make it make sense. Look, when I'm you an accountant. Right now, Jamal is going to get both of you guys tomorrow. Don't blame <laughs> this on me. 
I don't know you two tomorrow. I know you tonight. I don't know y'all tomorrow. Cause well, tomorrow. she never had money issues until she got with him. Well, she did, Mama Joyce. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't have no tax liens. Listen, Mama Joyce, and I want to see this. I want to see him cuss that woman out. I know it ain't right, but <laughs> her mother couldn't talk to me like that. Oh man, I would have cussed her out. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait oh a minute. My God. So, so what we want to see is men leave their women and women leave their men mm -hmm. for other for, for the opposite sex, right? No, right. For the same sex. Same sex. Same same sex. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we want to see is Lisa Nicole's husband finally come out the closet. I'm, yes. Oh, that's married with medicine. Sorry. But it's still Atlanta. <laughs> okay. Can I ask, you know what? I too don't have a very good job for Lisa Nicole. Since nobody got any type of fashion sense in Salt Lake City, they should allow her to do the whole, the whole reunion. Her gowns would have looked better. I can't. I can't. I almost choked. I'm bluffing. Wait a minute. Speaking of Lisa Nicole Cloud, wouldn't her husband be a good match for Derek J, the hairdresser? Yes. Yes. No, no, yes. Derek J likes no, a rich not Derek man. J. No, 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 not Derek J. Because he's not. He's a little too plump for him. No, he don't want it. He want a guy that's jacked. He want yes. a fine man. But yes. Derek allegedly. Now you didn't hear this from me. Allegedly, they said Tyler. Oh, a man who Perry? yes was his man allegedly. Really? Allegedly. Allegedly. Look up. Allegedly. <laughs> Tyler only had that baby Allegedly. to prove that he wasn't Allegedly. exactly swinging on the other side. Of the exactly, because he got to get all the church's money. He do better than a pastor. Cheers to Tyler Perry. Debbie, oh, you did not that never about, proved okay, anything. Let me tell you, Tyler, uh, that man, TP has his own private plane, and we ain't playing because I ain't trying to get no money. No, I ain't no we don't no need no to. Tasha K problems. Yeah, I don't need no Tasha K problems, okay? So, allegedly, in our opinion, that's yes. <laughs> yes. But I mean, if we're going to talk, Nene girl, you going to need to humble yourself and call okay. up. Who is this pimp stud that she's been, look, I'm going to tell y'all, in my opinion, she was seeing this man long before Greg. Well, mm -hmm. Greg, she was there for Greg. Yes, she was, but she was seeing him long before all of this happened. Now they're all public. Why? Because he is now deceased. Trust and believe me, this is not no new relationship that was just started, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, Blobby. Go ahead on. I need Nene to humble herself because, again, you too broke. I'm sorry, Nene, but you too broke. <laughs> the Lamethia is doing great. Listen, you closed Allegedly. down. You closed down Baby Fashion Nova, Swag Boutique. What kind of foolishness was that? <laughs> uh, she she had two or three outlets due to the C pandemic. No, Maybe they wasn't two buying two nothing out of there beforehand. Even Rashida and her rags. Come on, stop with these boutiques. Nene girl, you gonna need to get your money up. So you call Carlos King, humble yourself, call yeah. Peach Juice, and then do a love and marriage Huntsville, Atlanta. And honey, you will have the girls die. That would be good for her. But you know what? There's so much controversy going on there with the uh, uh and then love uh what is it was it love and hip hop girl. Now, did Ray J get divorced or not? Yes, he did. Listen, right? you know they love to play. They love to play. <laughs> I love a blobby. But they <laughs> haven't. They haven't officially gotten divorced, right? She says no, something about I'll be Ray divorced in August. She, um, Princess says she that I'll be I'll be divorced in August. Okay, okay. So she's done with him this time for good. Yeah, but well, there's a lot of time between now and August. Listen, okay. when 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 the chicken dinner Mona Scott coupon See? runs out. Thank you, Gwen. I knew it. That relationship started before. I just had they're too comfortable with each other. 
Thank you, Gwen. They're too comfortable with each other. Because it they came, what was it? But a month after Greg was already passed, now all of a sudden, I said, wait a minute. No, that relationship was going on before then. No, 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 no. They're too comfortable with each other. But he got some bad fashion sense, seriously. And he looks like Greg a little bit. Except for, yeah, he does. He reminds me of Greg. Listen, they, they, they out of their mind. Listen, all these rich Africans, why they keep finding the broken? Okay, oh, yeah, I can I find a rich Af Look, let me tell you what. Okay, I'm serious. Okay, I, I, I was thinking about that financial and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. But I need a rich African. I don't care if he got 23 goddamn wives. I just need me a rich African because we ain't having no kids. I can be I can be concubine number 24 wife. No, I don't care. Well, you know, there's the billionaire, the one I think he's worth 10 or 15 million, and he be in Atlanta, and he, the girls be living well. Okay, <laughs> I need you to introduce me to him. <laughs> The girls be doing well, you know? I'm going to get me an African, okay? I don't but want to sleep with him because I don't know if he bathes or not. I'm not sure, but I, I'm just going to get me an African. Yeah, get you somebody. Get you get you one. I like the, what I call the Anna Nicole Smith. Get them right before they die, you know? Ooh, girl, that whole thing. I was in Texas when all that shit was played out. And they tried their best, and she beat, even the son died, and she still beat everybody else in court. And now she's gone, but her daughter gets everything. Exactly. That's how you do it. You got to get him while he's dying. You know, you could be his home health aide if he's a billionaire or a multimillionaire. Okay, so, okay. how do I do that now that I can't climb a pole? Okay, th that's another class. Well, see, uh, see, you know what? This is your, you might do well with the young guys because they're young guys who want to splurge and they want an older woman, especially like a ham, like if you get a rich hamster, so you know, one of the ones that can't put it down yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to Vegas, so I got to go. I got to find a club where all these guys. Thank you, Ablavi. I got you. Are y'all telling me, Debbie? are y'all telling me two pump Hamza got Memphis pregnant when she was sitting there complaining and whining that yeah. we don't got good why did you? Why did you ejaculate so quick? I cannot stand, I can't stand Memphis. And I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. She's black, white, green, yellow, purple. I don't give a fuck. I cannot stand that little bitch. She bring her whole. I can't stand her. I don't care what game she's playing. I can't stand her at all. I feel no empathy, sympathy, nothing for her. I can't stand her. Okay, I'm good. I'm sorry, Debbie's just laughing. <laughs> no, but no, I'm, I'm just thinking about this. She was complaining that he wasn't, you know, putting in that work, and she got pregnant. Yep. Yeah, but he, he had no problem ejaculating. He just had problems staying up. And the ejaculate is what gets you pregnant, unfortunately. <laughs> I can't believe that she went out there and did not have protection. Do you think sex. she was pregnant by the time she left? I was yes. wondering about that. Yes. Yes. I so she wondering. got pregnant at mommy's house? Yep. Either that or <laughs> when they stayed at the hotel. <laughs> that was a really productive trip for her. Ooh, reproductive, reproductive trip. I reproductive. can't believe she got pregnant at mommy's house. Good Lord. That a poor blogging? woman. I if she you. was shunned before, this show has done her in. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine if she got pregnant over that first night? Because I, I didn't see that. I couldn't see in the room, but I, okay, I don't but believe she's a type of Okay, but that's the rumor. How do we know she actually had a baby and they're actually married? That's the rumor. Because on Hamza's last post, he said, thank you, my future mother-in-law, unless he has somebody running that media page to not get him in trouble. Uh, you know, his English isn't that great. So how is he posting and reading stuff that his mother-in-law says? You well, know what it I could be... It could be a Lisa and Usman thing, right? Where they yeah. got a religious marriage, but they didn't get a binding marriage. 
I never heard that one, but I like them. Look, look at that one, a blind Me, kids, marriage, and a baby. I can't. I can't believe she got. I, I, I can't believe she had a baby because the baby must be what three, four months. Yeah, but well, look I, at the difference in her pictures, though, because Jamal pulled it up on our show. Yes, yeah, she it. did look fatter in some yes. pictures. Yes, yeah. she did. Mm -hmm. I saw that because I started looking myself. Her she face did is all bigger in and her neck, breasts all are bigger. Here. Yeah. All in here, her face was fuller. I did pay attention to those pictures because they did a side by side with her and Darcy. First, I took offense to it. Then I looked. I said, "Shit, she looks like she really was pregnant." And yes, I did. But see, the thing about her though is she she a lot of her weight is in her face. You know. <laughs> No, like I'm saying, like if she get, when she gains weight, she'll gain it in her face and upper body first. <laughs> okay, yes, okay, okay. Let's talk about the the, the the couple I hate, Jasmine and Gino. Oh God! Oh my God! Why? What about why, Jasmine and Gina? Why can't we be honest? Listen, I'm okay with them giving us Latin American hookers, but I need us. Oh my God. <laughs> I need us to stop inventing titles. When she said, I'm an American lit teacher, where? <laughs> I want to know what she. What? <laughs> American lit. What? Like, I couldn't believe she made that up. American <laughs> lit. And then she had, you know what she looked like? She looked like um a, a nurse, not even a nurse, like a wet nurse for newborns. That's what she looked like when she saw that little uniform. I was like, a teacher where? I haven't seen the lesson plan yet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, that was foolishness. And then she said American <laughs> lit. She could have said I taught English, but no, American literature. American literature. I'm yeah. joking. Girl, I got tears coming up. <laughs> I wonder where she made that lie up. Maybe she was sleeping. Lobby, no, the producers told her to say that because they really think the audience who watches this show is dumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen. Okay. Ablavi, what do you think about Mike and Yamina? Oh, um, you know what? Let me let me tell you something. Warning, <laughs> warning. If you are triggered, please, please. Hold on, I'm gonna put trigger warning up. Hold on, Ablavi. Hold on. Let me add a banner. I gotta add a banner for trigger warning. Hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I spell? Wait a minute. How do you spell warning? <laughs> what do you mean? How do you spell warning? I got it, girl. My fingers are not typing right. Let me. Look, I'm on my fourth refill. Fuck. Me you are way it. past four. I said four. You okay. are like up to seven. Hold on. Trigger warning. There we go. Go ahead, Ablavi. Okay, let's be honest. Y'all, I don't know which one of them is more facially challenged. She looks like the Tasmanian devil, and he looks like Humpty Dumpty on the wall. I mean, it's just the clash of ugly. I'm, I'm just so worried of what a, if they reproduce what a child will look like. I am praying they get the hot brother jeans. Because that too, listen, I... You went to Columbia for this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, like if, if you wanted this, honey, we could have gone, we could have gone by Riverside Drive where the prostitutes be. Some of them are born female, some of them are born man. And we could have done a little bit better. You didn't have to go to Columbia for this. Uh, Blavi, can I ask you a question? Yeah. They're talking about the red and blue walls in Gino's house, right? Mm-hmm. Have y'all looked at Gino's uh, confessions? Have y'all looked when he was sitting on his couch? What red and blue walls? I see all beige and white. I what do walls too. is she talking about? No idea. I don't, I, listen, that girl, I think she just be seeing colors. She just be <laughs> making, <laughs> you know, making shit up in her head. You know, there's a fairy out there. She, I, I'm waiting for her to say you're cheating on me. <laughs> Woman is just <laughs> Seriously, I went back and looked when he was in his living room eating when his brother, his brother's wife came up. What walls 
is this bitch looking at? Seriously, I don't see these walls. Oh, Addie said maybe in the bedroom. Addie, we haven't got that far in this house yet. And we don't want to go that far either. I mean, though, but Gino was always ugly. That head is just one of the most atrocious things I've ever seen in my life. It is like one of the hardest things to see. It seen, he really looks like an egg. But have you seen the picture of him with hair? It's yes. not that much better. It was even no. worse. Yeah. <laughs> a blobby. What are you oh okay? Okay, a blobby. What do you think about Ben and Mahogany? Let me tell you something. This is how stupid this man is. That girl is from Korea, and he's so stupid, he thinks that girl is Peruvian. Ain't nothing about that girl Peruvian. I mean, he's so stupid. We all know this is another Nigerian gentleman that is, uh, uh, what is it, catfishing. But this is the thing that has me wondering. <laughs> TLC, because we thought Maria was fake, right? So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which Maria? With Caesar, remember him and he was scrubbing feet? <laughs> That's not her well, name we also thought Maria. Lana was fake too. Yeah. Okay. The one the one with the with the leather jackets. Who, who was he with? Alina? Lana. Lana, Lana. Lana. Yeah. Ukraine. We right. thought Lana was fake too. So because he's on the show, I'm assuming they have a woman to show. No, I, I, I'm, a, I'm agreeing with you on this, Ablabi. I believe that she is in no, Korea. No, 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 because it's on the show, I'm assuming they have a woman to show. No, Sorry, I'm in a onesie. I, I, I'm agreeing with you on this, Ablabi. I believe that. Ablabi, I can't hear you. No, we're hearing, we're hearing Addie's replay. Oh, at. at oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Yeah, about that. I'm here. Okay, I got you. There you go. It was just ridiculous. I mean, this show was the what what which couple listen, Gino's head, that egg shape head, you know what his head looks like? An un as circumcised never mind. <laughs> An uncircumcised. Got yes, okay. It just bothers me. <laughs> it just needs to be fixed. I think his feet bother me though. Like from head to toe, he has issues. Oh, he's gonna listen. Can you imagine what their child is going? Oh my god, why would she no, want to see what no child is gonna look like? Addie, what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, Addie. What do you have to say? <laughs> oh, 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 this uh, the whole oh. There's, there's so much right now with this whole 90 day thing. The, the, oh, the, the Gino <laughs> with, with Crazy Pants McGee. Oh, I cannot take it. Oh, she, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna drive me nuts. And and his cowering when he's when she's like when she's scolding him, and then he comes out of rage. I'm I'm mad because you were on a, a stripper was on you. <laughs> That whole thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, and let's see who the Memphis thing. Yep. I don't have much to say about that. <laughs> I'm but don't you agree that she gains weight in the face first? So eat like if yep. she gained 15 pounds, she she could just gain, you know, that's how her body gains weight. Yep, she did. She when 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 Debbie brought that up to me and Tonight, and I was looking at some posts she was making, and I looked at some comparisons. Her face, her neck, everything. So mm -hmm. I'm begin. I'm believing that she was pregnant or pregnant, had a baby. I'm serious. I don't know. I I I just you think I maybe so during the show. Deeper. So maybe she started out there, and then it it's just kind of progressed on. Because we heard something a little bit about that, right? Yes. <sighs> I'm, I'm wondering because we haven't seen her. She hasn't. Real, she has not been on Instagram, right? I haven't. Seen no, her. she's been on Instagram, but I mean, not live. Know. She's been responding to John Yates and some other bloggers. Oh, well, that yes, that. But uh, I do. And the question is, did they get married? But then Hamza comes yesterday and says 
thank you, my future mother-in-law. So I don't know if they're trying to play us or not. And yeah, she said, she need said to pay my close son, attention. didn't she say my son-in-law? But he said my future mother-in-law. And the fact that I do work every day, except for today, I was really paying attention to the lives that were going on. <laughs> but I really need to take some time and to delve a little deeper into this because I really like to do my research before I say shit. Yeah. But I really want to delve a little deeper. Yes, yes. That would be cool. Wait a minute. So I'm looking online and so the, the person who did this is called True Crime Janky. And True he's Crime Janky, yes. And I'm looking at it. And it's basically saying now this would be the case. What if it's the ex-husband's baby? Because remember, she was sitting on his penis too. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said that she stayed over there because, you know, because they were really good friends. But that's supposed to be the love of her life. Remember that? Yeah, but that's two so, weeks before. Yeah, is it like, so, isn't that in the period where you can get pregnant? Yeah. 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 And so you've never fucked a really good friend? Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't because I want, I know I want them to say, oh, my God. Speaking of that, I gotta call Philip tomorrow. God damn it, his birthday is tomorrow. Philip. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up? No, call tomorrow. Birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was, my friend Tracy's birthday was three days ago, and I saw it on Instagram. And I went, oh shit, my days are getting. Fucked up, right? You know what? I need to stop working. <laughs> My days are just running together. Oh yeah. I can't believe they say that she had a baby in November. That's crazy. That doesn't make any sense to me either. Hmm. Why doesn't it make sense? That okay. The show was filmed. It's a year ahead of time, almost a year. Uh huh. Well, yeah, that does make sense. Okay. Hmm? I would question thank whether you, Danielle. It was the Tamsa. <laughs> yes, thank you, Danielle. I Could need you guys drop Danielle's uh uh mod? I don't know who's left in here. Uh could you drop uh the commentary zone, which is already on my description, but drop their link. Drop a, a Blavi's link and drop Addie's link for me, please. Addie is always tied to everything I do. Addie, we really need, I have some good cases for us to go over. We need to get this done. Hopefully when I come back from vacation or we can do one before mm -hmm. I go. But we have some good cases that we need to go over. Okay. Re but no, okay, so we. Oh, I can't believe she got pregnant. Again, like, goodness. Is birth control? Never mind. Don't shame. <laughs> you know, it's just me. You know, at a certain point, good gosh, I'll pay for it. <laughs> you know? So, Addie, what do you think? What do I you think? You think that she's, you think she had a baby? I don't know. I don't know who the person is who now I want to know. I'll have to go back and look and see who this person is who dropped the info and see if what that's all. I about. follow her on IG. Okay. Uh, she and mommy says bad words. They're all I follow all of them. Uh, they're all funny. They're all team. But uh, mommy says bad words. <clears throat> they, they, they do a lot of memes. And I'm I'm gonna get mommy. Mommy says bad words, and I did a live on on Jeffrey Pachel, and uh, she has a really great channel. Uh, she just says whatever. But I'm gonna bring her on again, so we can get to know her, and you guys can follow her. But I really really like mommy says bad words, and then we have Barry Ho. Oh my God. These women are really, really fun to be with. We have uh, shots fired. Um, she, um, I like her. These women get into, they do deep dives on everything. And I like these women. I really do. 
Well, oh, wait, wait, before, well, you know what, Let if we're going to be messy, can we be messy a little bit about, um, what, 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 what is her name? Oh, Salt Lake City. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. 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 Uh, Jen Shaw. No, no, Jen no, 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 no. The Jen one who was involved with, is she racist? Oh. Is she not? Oh, wait a minute. Wait That's a minute. Stop, win. stop, stop, stop. stop. What, look at this. Chris Brown got to hit with another rape allegation. Well, you know that song he made. You know that song he made. Okay. I got to check out Chris Brown, too. Hold on. Listen, Chris Brown is a fool. I'm I'm ready for him to go to jail. He needs to go. I'm ready. You know what? And another thing. Um, Where are the he uh, mental health professionals in Los Angeles? Why is he not, not in a facility already? He is getting on my nerves. <laughs> is he in California, though? Mm -hmm. You know he's everywhere. Him, that girl. They, they just getting on my nerves. Kim, girl, come and, come and get your man together. Because you're going to have to deal with him for life. Kim says that we're done. That's somebody else's problem. Okay, now, people people who were, who were alive and knew the OJ trial, are you oh, yes, I, I streamed that. I told y'all I was in constant communication with Johnny Cochran. Y'all think I'm kidding. My cousin is Walter Dumas. He and Johnny Cochran were really good friends. Uh, he, he's a judge, but now he's not a judge in Louisiana. Uh, he was at my cousin's wedding. I messed him. I would hit him with all kind of emails about the OJ trial. He actually asked my cousin, what school is she at? She, he goes, She's not in law school. <laughs> I was like, I was hitting with all kinds of shit. <laughs> but do do you see the parallels? Because this yes, is it, it seems do. like this is what we're getting set up for with this Kanye and Kim saga. Now I don't know what's gonna happen, but I see an OJS to it. <laughs> you do with Kanye and Kim? Yeah, the, the, it's it's looking very crazy. A lot of threatening, a lot of this and that. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't because be surprised if an allegation to comes to his out. Daughter's birthday party, but Christian Thompson sent. You know what? <laughs> Kanye is a little low. Ever since, no offense, but ever since his mother died from that complication from plastic surgery, this young man lost it. So when my sons first told me about Kanye West. It was the school. What was it? The name of his first album? Uh, dropout. High school dropout. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God! They were in the Kanye West, and I was like, Oh my God! Okay. And every year that goes by, he gets progressively crazier to me. He does progressively crazier, but um. I, I do I believe that he's a good father? Yeah. Oh. Why everything got involved? Ooh, what? Because for allegedly, you know, you know what? It's now that we're talking about Diddy. Do you think he broke Chris Brown in? Because allegedly, because I yes, that. he's broke a lot of them in. He's yes. broke a lot of them allegedly. Yes, allegedly. Yes. 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 Oh my God, poor Diddy. He has. Yes, I do believe. Okay, okay. If you, if guys you guys don't remember, remember who's got, who's got echo. echo. D D M A made a song and, and called, called out, out he did it. it. Called him out. What kind what of man? man? F another, another man. man. He did, he did it. Who knows? Mm. I said, I said, I said Do you guys hear that? No. I do. I do. Maybe it's Maybe me. It's me. The, the, Maybe the, the sound, sound over. over. No, 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 no,
goodness. Oh my oh. god. Sorry. Sorry. There she is. go. Okay, Addie, you have the echo. Do I? Hello? I don't, I don't hear, hear it now. No, I do. Addie, drop out and come back in, please. Ablavi? Yeah. At, hold on. I'm going to mute every. Oh, Eddie already dropped. Okay. Is or is it me? Now? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Eddie had an echo. Oh, Usher. Usher. Mm. Usher. And he ain't never been the same. And then remember. Is it still an echo? Marin Stephens. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. How many people believe that allegedly, allegedly Kim Porter's death was not, I think she died from COVID myself. That's my suspicion. But LB Shore, oh, who I love to death. Uh, and then he thinks that she was murdered. Allegedly, how many people think that Kim Porter was murdered? If you know who Kim Porter is, I think she was, oh, and I think I think also the one with um, Floyd Mayweather was murdered as well. Allegedly, the one that was yes. in her car, mm -hmm. found in her car. Yeah, that one I found suspicious. Kim Porter, I didn't, I didn't think that was suspicious. No, it was suspicious because she, I think she got pneumonia. It right. was. That was, come on, she was like 46? Yeah, Exhibit, Exhibit did say that. He did say that. I remember that. I did remember that. Yep, I believe what LB Shore said too. I love LB Shore. I can love you night and day. Okay, okay. Where's Addie? She had a bad echo. Is that your music? <laughs> yeah, YouTube has free music now. Oh. I, I just think that it was a little suspicious. Her kids were very young, and all of a sudden, she just, you know, went all of the blue. But if we're talking about things that were suspicious, we need to discuss how Kamara Lee Simpkins takes the L for sitting there and marrying a broke man and having to yes. $40 million of her money to make sure her, her broke husband don't go to jail after she then took it from Russell Simmons, who was snatching young Coochie, allegedly. Do you and know Russell Bali. Lee Simmons is on an island and he can't, he's not coming back to the United States and Prince Andrew is facing charges. Yeah, because we know uh, he did it too. He's, he's to foolish. Jesley, uh, to Jeslyn, oh my God, I can't even say her name right now, Jeslyn. Um, she's let her book be open, no objections, but Prince Andrew cannot come back. He is facing charges. He's not coming back to the United States. I thought his stuff was all civil. No, no, baby, no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. And the queen relieved him of some, a lot of, all of his duties, not a lot, all of his duties. Honey, they don't know what to do with that royal family. They in chaos. It's a shame that it's happening during her big anniversary year, though. It's well, okay. Okay, she said she was in the hospital. Okay, they're saying that uh, Kim Porter was doing... I think it was a tell-all, right, or something. And, but I think it could have been COVID. They said she was sick, but she died from pneumonia. I think it was COVID because it was around that time. But they're saying that she was uh, M'd, is what they're saying. I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't a witness. I'm just saying I wasn't a witness. I wasn't a witness, so I don't know. I just, I just am weary of Diddy. You know, the whole Tupac and Biggie thing, not saying he did it, but I, you know, too many people die in his company. Oh, a lot of people, and people take the fall for Diddy. You see how quick Jennifer Lopez got away from him, right? 
I know. But now her, her, her foolish self is back with broke Ben Affleck. She's just ridiculous with these men. Low I think she can't be alone. No, I mean, she look can't. at Halle Berry. Look at she another on. one. Look at Halle Berry. Yes, She's been with now, that guy now believe. without incident. Okay. When it comes, it's to only Bobby been Christina. like a year. <laughs> Ablavi, do you see what she said about Bobby Christina? Yeah, I, I I thought that was suspicious too. I believe that. What? Wow. Oh, at her grandmother's request. I mean her, her aunt's request. Oh my god. Oh, you but you know, you know the Houstons are as trifling as the you know, Jackson. Your mama was a okay, Clyde Davis had the mama, mm-hmm. Dion Warwick, allegedly, I'm gonna say it in my opinion. Whitney, uh, let me tell y'all. I lived on the East Coast. I live in an affluent neighborhood in T- uh, in New Jersey. Whitney Houston, when she first started, they start, first started promoting her. She was and always has been a hood rat. Mm-hmm. People did not see who she was until they did being Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. Whitney was always a hood rat. Uh, Dion, her mom, but when she got to the status of being, you know, star thing, her brother, her dad tried to keep her away from her dealers or whatever. She fired them. But in my opinion, it's documented, but in my opinion, um, when she was, 15 uh she had been in a lot of trouble look it mm-hmm. up okay i was around in that time she was raised and I'm, uh the Isley brothers lived down the street from me eddie murphy was up the street stevie wonder i was in teaneck new jersey in case anybody want to look it up um teaneck uh, is so cute now yeah <laughs> Benny King, all of them. I, I was I was seeing Benny King's son. Uh, Whitney has always been a hood rat. I'm telling you from what I know, a hood rat. When you started seeing her on Being Bobby Brown, you saw the real, the real Whitney Houston. Now, um, do I believe that? Oh God, there's so much shit. I'm gonna have to write a book one day. Y'all, yeah. Y'all because, know the life okay, that I have I'm a question. <laughs> who's, who's, who, who has a more trifling family? The Houstons or the Jacksons? The Houstons. <laughs> to be oh, honest, I'm getting equal. Well, okay. The Jacksons. We all know Joe Jackson had that other daughter. What about Jermaine? And he had a baby by Tito's wife. By Tito's wife. We know but that. But Joe also. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to give it to Catherine Jackson. That is a strong, 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 strong woman for the shit that she has put up with through all of this. Do I believe that Joe Jackson was a was a was a rough disciplinary? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Do I believe that he put more emphasis on Michael. Yes, I do, because that was his money maker. Um, do uh, do I believe that uh, they tried their best to help Michael? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. But then again, when you have that much money and power, you know, you're dealing with Michael Jackson versus the jackets latoria is a fucking joke i but, love to celebrity apprentice they were like casper <laughs> you know what I, I i think same thing i think with prince okay if you have people that surrounding and, and george michael when you have people surrounding you they said they love you and care about you 
these people are going to look out for you and not look out for themselves. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I remember when my mother used to always encourage me. And you guys can go. Oh, look it was up. Randy's wife. Sorry, not Tito. Listen, either way, it's nasty to yep. say sister cousin. It's nasty. Yeah, you guys can look it up. I sang in my high high school choir. I, I was in the band. I played first seat for, for clarinet. I sang everything. And I remember I used to sing all the time. Natalie Wood, Inseparable, Tina Marie hit every fucking note. I could, but when it comes down to singing and that life, I remember telling my mother, I said, I don't think this life is, that life is for me because I was always really shy Mm. and I knew me. And at one point, I'm going to tell you guys, my anxiety level was really bad and I was addicted uh, to anxiety pills. I remember we were in Fort Campbell. This was in, no, no, Fort Hood. Texas, I took, uh, I was on anxiety medication. I took a lot of pills. I was found in my backyard in the snow. I remember it's the first time it snowed there in a long time. And uh, at that point, I realized I don't want to take any medicine for anxiety. I don't want to. My mother and everybody came up. My mom was upset because she thought I tried to uh, commit S. No, I didn't. But it was the fact that um, it was the anxiety and everything else. So, I, and I know me. Singing, yes, I love it. Love it. But I know with me, I couldn't deal with the pressure. I would have been another Janice. I would have been another one that would have overdosed a long time ago for the pressure of everything. And I can sit here and tell you, yeah, look it up. I have been admitted for overdose when I was in Fort Hood. Um, And I knew then I didn't want to be married any longer. I knew at that point, I had to get out of the relationship I was in. It was no physical abuse. It was no nothing. It was all mental. No matter where I went, you knew my knowledge, everything. And um, yeah, I did. Not once, twice. I took pills. So I understand it. Nobody understands what anybody's going through. And when it got to the point where you're going to be you, you're not going to try to um, uh, be the person that they want you to be. You're not going to try to be. Everybody was upset because my sons would call me Heidi. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. I think when my oldest son was about five I got to ask him five. I remember the first time he called me mom and I broke out in tears. It didn't bother me because everybody around me called me Heidi. So that's what my kids will say. It never bothered me, but, oh, you a bad mom. They call you Heidi. No, but I, I was at that point where my husband made this, my husband did this and I was expected to be this and that. And I went, fuck that. I'm going to be Heidi. And I became Heidi. I was who I was and fuck what you thought I should be. And that's how I've lived my life ever since. So I'm good. Mm. I'm sorry. Anybody else has anything to say? I think that this was a slow week. The whole Tasha K thing was going on, and I can't bring myself to care. I really wish I could. What do you think about this Tasha K thing? I think it was it. it she was being very careless, and she should have settled. Not even if yes. she thought she was right, simply because 
she, she does not make that type of she tasha thinks she's wendy williams and she's not and it's a do you see that message whitney and nobody understands this yeah bobby only did we until he met whitney houston that's what nobody understands whitney was in another a whole another stratosphere before she met bobby you cannot blame bobby for anything that whitney did whitney was doing this shit long before she met bobby what do you think debbie of the whole tasha k because that's your girl that's your girl that's your girl I'm not gonna lie. I did enjoy her Friday night lives, but then she stopped doing them. She started doing more interviews. I like anybody who drinks wine. Um, however, did, don't you think it was dumb that for her to put this on trial and be so sloppy with it? Yeah, because yeah. didn't the judge like um admonish her attorneys for being unprepared or something? Yep. I heard that. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the trend, but I heard that's what they did. From what I understand, she had plenty of opportunities to make this go away, to settle before going to trial. I don't know why she would risk everything that she has built on this. <gasps> I don't know. I didn't know that. Damn this. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? You know what? Pat Houston is not really a Houston. She was married to Whitney's half brother with a different last name. I thought she was married to, to Whitney's brother. Then how did she become a Houston? That's how. She married in. Right. Oh my. You know what? Everybody keeps saying that. I. I, but you know what? Allegedly, well, I, ooh, I'm not going to say what I know. Allegedly, we all know Dionne Warwick was high as hell at Whitney's funeral. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that was her so, glaucoma medicine. Leave her alone. That's okay. still a high, so, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, in my opinion, Kenyon, Clyde Davis, with, uh, uh, Dion, Pat, and Clyde was all in that. He had them all hooked up. He had he gave them what they wanted. So Clive Davidson is a major. So I don't know if you guys follow um what's her name? Everybody thinks she's crazy. Uh what's her name? Jaguar. Jaguar Wright. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff she says is, is honestly true. Now, whether she embellishes or not, it's up to you. But a lot of the stuff that Jaguar Wright has to say is true. I think it could be based in some truth, but then she 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 adds on a lot of incredible stuff that kind of like Oh, Next we got question, a talk, what, woman. Whether the base is true or not. Look at this. Pat Houston is not really a Houston, not even by marriage. Oh, sh shit. We got to talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. All we got to say with Prince is nothing but love. I don't give a shit what he did. He... He could have cursed out 55 million guys. I don't give a fuck what Prince did. It was all right. I don't care. Prince is my, just my, my baby estate. daddy. Yeah, they just settled it. I wouldn't be surprised if they sold his catalog next. Well, everybody's doing it. Yep. Oh my now Nick Gordon, we know Nick is dead now. The friend also that reported her death is now dead. This whole shit is disgusting. This whole Houston saga is disgusting. It really is. And Whitney and God for let me tell y'all. 
when I first heard her sing, I got chills through my body. The last six years, that woman's voice was gone and she's talking, crack is whack, crack is whack. I don't fucking do crack. No, your ass, you, Bobby was a weed smoker. When we saw being Bobby Brown, we saw the real Whitney Houston. No offense, but the white people couldn't handle seeing Whitney Houston the way she really is. Whitney was, <laughs> she was a hood rat. I she love was. that show. Right. But her mother didn't raise, I'm not going to say what Pat, that, Whitney was a hood rat. That's what she was. Out of New Jersey, hood rat. You don't remember the episode where he they were like in the bathroom and he had to dig up her butt to get her dookie out because she was kind of yes I love that I love that (sighs) and when they were living yes I remember yes yes I remember that Tito would have probably be Jermaine's hey remember when the mother drowned in the pool. I don't think that was an accident either. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't believe she drowned. I do not believe that woman drowned. I have never believed she drowned. Interesting. I mean, this is a lot. I never believed she drowned. I never believed that. I think her, her boys don't think she drowned either. Nope, I don't think she drowned. I really don't. Cause wasn't one of them on a show um, with a struggling marriage and they were trying to repair the marriage and he brought up um, his mother's death and that he felt that it wasn't a drowning at all, that she was murdered. Mm. But he yes. blames the, the, the boyfriend that she was with at the time. He- Gwen saying that Whitney's brother turned her out. But from what I understand from being around Benny King's son, I hung around Eddie Murphy when when he first started out on Saturday Night Live. My understanding is that Whitney was into this shit. Her brother tried to get her out of it. And that's when she fired her brother and her father that was my understanding uh i was all in the palisades park i was all over new jersey i was in hackensack i was in tina well i lived in tnac i was <laughs> i'm serious uh i was all around the, a lot of the sugar hill gang members um uh, first time i saw eddie murphy um i met him in a club in the village i didn't know who he was and they kept telling me Saturday Night Live. Uh, the next Saturday, I watched it and I saw him on Saturday Night Live. And I was like, oh my God, we were hanging out with him. I was like, I was so ecstatic. I didn't know who he was. Uh, we went to a club in the village and uh, mm. it was this woman singing. And she, it, and I want to say it was Tina Marie, but People keep telling me it wasn't her. We were in the village and this white chick was on stage and she was singing and she blew me away. And they kept saying, no, it wasn't Tina Marie. Well, then I go back and read her bio. That was Tina Marie. And I remember when I heard her on Rick James first and people kept saying that i said no that's a white chick that's a white chick i remember all of this shit. i lived right there and i lived in a up really high upscale area <laughs> anybody know where teaneck new jersey is you're gonna know so debbie does this take you back to your youth no i grew up in in the the hood of brooklyn also oh, like a biggie tease <laughs> no i grew up around the corner like uh from where um <laughs> um Chris Rock and and the boxer Tyson. I was in Hood Hood. <laughs> but Chris Rock's a little bit older than you, right? Chris Rock is older than me? No. 
I'm I'm almost no. two. But you know what? I, you know, do you guys follow? Well, Jaguar Wright had a YouTube channel. She was on IG. Then she just disappeared. I like Jaguar Wright. I like Jaguar Wright. She was too much. <laughs> No, I like her because you can distinguish between what she was saying was truth and what she was fabricating. You can distinguish if you w w remember that time. Oh my God. See, they say she died at the family compound. But they're saying she was drowned by the boyfriend. Okay. Mm. Does Pat have, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Does Pat have control of Whitney's estate? I don't. She probably does. Yeah, because Bobby Kastrina is, yeah. Yeah, she does. Okay. Because the, didn't every, everybody else is dead, I think. But her brother said he got a hooked on drugs, but, but Whitney was doing this shit before he even became famous. She was in New Jersey. I, 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 oh my God. When I tell you Whitney was out there, she was out there. They tried to clean her image up and they did a really good job of it. She was Americans. She was America's heart. You know, she had the little afro and she was, yeah, she was out there before then. I think when they put her out there, they said she was 17. That's no, how she had with she was 18, Jackson. But she was really 15. Yep, she was doing drugs with Bobby. Do you remember when Shaka Khan went on stage and she actually fucking passed out? And uh, what's her name? Vesta was doing her backup vocals. She well, she was singing when I not passed out. She was there, but she wasn't there. And Vesta was actually singing and doing Shaka, Shaka Khan shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well guys i'm yeah gonna go jaguar can sing she can jaguar guys i'm serious uh she was with the roots jaguar can sing and she can sing <laughs> that girl has a voice she can really sing a blobby what did you say I said I'm gonna go to bed because it's almost midnight and I have to get my I have, first I have to get my beauty sleep and two I need to watch Real Housewives of Miami for Jamal and them tomorrow. Oh yeah, I've got to watch that too. Ugh. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm gonna binge it. Okay, I'm gonna binge it. But guys, uh, thank you, Blobby, for coming up. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll see you um, tomorrow, Blobby. All right, bye, night, baby. Bye. bye. Okay, guys, we're going to end it. Uh, oh, my God. This was a great live. Debbie, thank you. I know. I know. I'm sorry I had to step away. I had to go in and Why did you step away? Because when you step away, I probably stepped away, too. Yeah, I, when I put up my... um, the Your I, avatar? I, yeah. You know I'm not familiar with all these YouTube terms. I leave that for you and Jamal. <laughs> Debbie, I want to say I really appreciate you. Um, guys, drop, uh, I have them on the description, but drop Debbie's channel, Danielle's channel, Blabby's channel, Tara, all of the YouTube creators that I, uh, I'm going to add everybody to my channels on my about page. And, um, Debbie, look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My Snoop Dogg is <laughs> I have three more bottles left. I am empty Snoop Dogg. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a rough... I'm working from home tomorrow. <laughs> just, just have an aspirin before you go to bed. That's it. I am. I yeah. will. And I want to thank minute. everybody in your chat because a lot of folks from your chat have been coming over to our chat and we really appreciate it. Jamal and I just thank you so much. 
um, we're almost there. Not really, but you almost yeah. okay. Yeah, How far we're, are you from there? We need we need like about two fifty more, but okay. We'll get there. So put we'll it get okay, there. Debbie. Put your mm -hmm. chat on subscribers only, so they can chat, and you're gonna hit your numbers. Oh really? Subscribers okay. only. All Go right. into customization. Hit subscribers only, if and put it at twenty minutes. If they go, oh well, okay. Put it at ten, and if they're gonna subscribe, they're gonna subscribe. Oh, okay. I'll try that. That's I didn't know we could do that. Yes. Good night, everybody. We appreciate you. But oh my God, what a minute, Jean. Oh, thank Aww. you, Jean. Love you. Okay. Can somebody drop Debbie's Debbie? You can put your channel. Oh, wait a minute. No, hold on. They've been hold doing on. I'm gonna get Debbie's channel. No, I'm gonna it. get Debbie. Hold on. I'm gonna get your channel. I'm gonna get your channel. Hold on. I'm gonna go. Thank you, Danielle. Hold on. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the channel. I'm gonna get the channel. The commentary zone. <laughs> I don't know if my mods are still up, so I'm gonna do it myself. But they the have been crazy. Zone. Though. I know. Okay, I have it. Let me drop it in the chat. I love this song. There is some like I love this music. It is so cute. I I um I played some for Jamal um after our last live. Uh -huh. He said, where's that coming from? I was like, this is from StreamYard. It's so cool. <laughs> so I figured out how to do movie night. I was told mm -hmm. how to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to, okay. I'm not going to do uh, a fun Friday next Friday, but Debbie mm -hmm. and I will be doing Married at First Sight. If it's up and if there's no bye week fun friday is off we probably do a movie night next friday because i'm flying it out i remember i remember i got remember i'm flying out saturday morning so i need to be up early so that's what i'm gonna do but i love you guys debbie tell them everything about you is in my chat is in the description well, Jamal and I, we just do um, uh, commentary on reality TV shows. Um, we do TLC. We do uh, Bravo. You know, just watch the shows and then talk about what we've seen. And then I go off on tangents. And sometimes I get a little frustrated with the yabos that I'm watching on TV. But I don't get, you know, I don't drink wine. At least I try not to during the day. I save that for when I'm with Heidi. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gwen. I appreciate it. Oh. So hopefully we'll see you guys. We usually um, Monday through Wednesday we're noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and then Thursday and Friday we're around 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific specific but sometimes we add in extra shows bonus shows so tomorrow we're doing um the real housewives of miami and project runway Whoo! well okay, okay. i catch your replays uh i can't i caught two replays of project runway and i haven't watched that in so long and when uh -oh. I watch you guys, oh, Gwen says she subscribed. Yeah. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. I'm serious. Debbie and Jamal covers, oh my God, so much stuff. And I'm glad that I'm getting back in the rhythm. I really am. I'm getting back in the rhythm. But I don't know. I think I'll do a members live from Vegas. I don't know. Um, oh. I'm going to see. Because we're going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think but, so. Oh, TC T oh, says she's up. When do, um, Miami, Miami will come on tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. 
Um, 11 a.m. Pacific. Because I, I still have to watch that episode. I haven't watched it yet. Um, and we're going to, and during our episode, we're going to review their reunion outfits. Um, so much better than Salt Lake City. My God. Um, oh, thank you, Ruthann. Um, yeah. Uh, were you disappointed with the Salt Lake City reunion outfits? I haven't seen them. To be honest, I haven't. Let me tell you, I haven't watched Salt Lake City since episode four. Oh, wow. I, I just, I guess I was too anxious for them to get into the gin sauce stuff. And then they kept prolonging and prolonging. So I, I'm going to have to do a binge. Ep- I'm going to have to just binge it. And it's quick. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Oh my God! No, it, they've had a they've had a really good season. They have, and I'm just disappointed that Mary isn't coming to the reunion. Um. Well, I talked to her cousin, mm-hmm. Coach, mm-hmm. of the number one or number six seated team. Um. You know, Mary, and when she was living in New York, she was seeing that guy, which we already knew that, but he has it, been made public. Um, Mary has a lot of skeletons that she doesn't want to face, too. How should I say that? Yeah. A lot of skeletons. Oh. Whoops. So the, the gentleman that passed away... That's who she was seeing? Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, guys, I don't know if you are a member of, well, I'm sure you all are a member of Tara Lynn's channel. Tara Lynn's going to be going live. She should have sent links out by now. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. going to check to see, but um, I love all of you guys. Oh, Debbie, we're going to have to talk tomorrow. When you get a break, you need to call me. I need to catch you up. (sighs) Thank you, homemade subs. I appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't subbed to Debbie and Jamal, please do. They cover... I, I used to try to cover everything I can. I don't know how they find the time, but they get it done. We we we've narrowed down what we're doing. Um, like the housewives, I think we're getting bored with the housewives. I think the only one that we're really interested in seeing now is is um, Beverly Hills because we want to see New Miss Jersey. No. New Jersey starts next week. We were disappointed last season with New Jersey. It's gonna be better this season. Trust me, it's gonna be better. I'm telling you, it's gonna. Trust me, Debbie. Inside scoop. Better this season. Inside scoop. Better this season. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to watch it just on my own and see. But if it's all about Teresa, I'm not here for it. And No, and- it's not all about Teresa at mm. all. Uh, Jennifer is going to have to come clean with a whole lot of shit. You mean all the gossip about her and her husband for all these years? We is know. Margaret is Margaret gonna um um out her? Uh yeah. It's about time. Uh, yeah. So let me see. Let me tell you guys where we stand at right now. So I am going to. Oh my god. So I am going to. Okay, here's what I don't do. I will be revealing my membership, not membership, my subscriptions for the people that have. I, I'm gonna sub, I'm gonna reveal my subscribers' numbers. Uh, the middle of February. I have a goal that I'm hitting, mm-hmm. and we're really close. And I'm cresting 
I'm cresting towards 3,000. Oh, so nice. that is my goal. Cool. And I am proud of myself and for everybody that's here that I did that I did it organi uh, organically. I did not buy any subs. And once I hit that number, I'm going to open up my channel. So, um, so Social Blade can capture everything so you guys can see how I've progressed. And I haven't bought a sub. I haven't bought a view. Um, I am... Um, we grow little by little. I lost subs. I've gained subs. I've lost subs. I've gained subs. I don't look at numbers. Uh, I look at my analytics. I look at what my subscribers want to see, want to hear, want to discuss. And that's what I look at. So it's not about numbers for me. Um, my YouTube, uh, I'm going to be straight up. I can show you guys anytime you want to see it. I can show you my YouTube money, what I make. I can show you my memberships. I can show you where I sit. Uh, I can tell you right now I am sitting at a hundred and hold on, maybe. Let me go back and look at my membership. See, I don't want to hide anything. Wait a minute. Close, 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 close. Settings. Oh, monetizations. Hold on. I'm going to tell you where I'm at with my membership. Monetization. Memberships. My membership is up 92%. I've gained 23 new members this month. So I'm going to start showing all of my stuff because I have nothing to hide. Um, I haven't paid a lot of attention to member, not haven't paid. I haven't done a lot of membership stuff, but I am back. I'm getting back to where I, to where I should be. And and I think my Vegas trip is going to be members only for a lot of stuff. But um, I want to say thank you for sticking around, for being here, for putting up <laughs> with the craziness for my... Uh, me going off for me uh, calling liars out I, I, I don't do that and <laughs> Gene I'm calling you <laughs> but let me tell you I am who I am whoever you see here it's whoever you're going to meet in person. Um, Eddie met me. Um, Dorit is going to meet me. Amber has met me. I don't portray to be somebody I'm not. Never would do that. I am who you see. And that's me. I don't give a fuck about what anybody has to say about me. Because I know me. I'm not insecure. Um, and when I tell you that until you can climb to my level, I'm not being rude. But people say six figures. I make over, I'm not over six figures, but I'm good. I'm happy. I live a good life. And once this pandemic is over with, I'm going to resume the lifestyle that I have, be, that I was accustomed to. And I want to say thank you to all of you that see me for who I am. There's no fakeness. 
I am Heidi. Debbie, you know me. Mm-hmm. Addie has met me. Am- so Debbie, when you when you and I talk, who am I? It's just plain old Heidi. I mean, you came highly recommended by Jamal. And I trust Jamal. Ergo, I trust you. <laughs> no, she's just Heidi, you're a very genuine person like you wear your heart on your sleeve you do anything for for anybody if you could i mean i i wouldn't be here if i didn't enjoy your company that's the honest truth and i know that and that's what people don't understand because they were going oh debbie's not there and i'm like you guys don't understand the relationship I have. I didn't even know who Debbie was. And she started sending me thumbnails and everything else. I don't pretend to be somebody I am not. I am who I am who I am. And oh my God. So I don't, yeah. Do I get down and dirty? Yes, I do. I can and I will. We had a little break because you moved states. You got a new job. You had to settle in. Like, you know, I have changes in my schedule all the time. And and Debbie, they don't understand. They don't understand. It's not that serious, (laughs) y'all. It's not that serious. Yep. Jean met us in All About the Tea. And when I tell you that Monica and I have been friends before her YouTube channel, uh, when she discussed opening up a YouTube channel and John discussed opening up a YouTube channel or not opening up, they already had their channels. I was like, oh my God, you guys are going to do great. So what you don't understand, friendship is a friendship. I don't, how how do I say this? Besides getting everybody in an uproar. My friends make mistakes. They say things they should not say. But who am I? If I say I'm your friend, if I turn my back on you and go with the norm. I don't do that. I understand the uproar behind John. I do. I I, I do. I understand the uproar behind John. But I'm here to tell you that John is the most loving and caring person that you ever want to meet. He is not a racist. He is my friend. And I stand with my friend. And for people that don't understand that, I'm sorry. John is nowhere near racist. Nowhere near racist. And if I thought at any moment that he was we wouldn't be friends okay john understands what i have to say he listens to me to a certain extent he knows how i felt he knows how christy felt he knows how mod 48 felt i understand what he was doing but no it's never good It's never right. And for people to say, oh, you are set out. You are this. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about me. Because you don't know me. And you definitely don't know John Yates. And this is not. um, When somebody is wrong. 
when they are nasty and malicious and whatever. I have nothing else to do with them. John is my friend. You can condemn me. You can say whatever you want to say to me. But I am going to stand by my friend until he is proved to me to be the person that you think he is. And I know John is not a racist. He has never, in all the times I've known him and personally following him, he has never, ever said, and now they're spreading this video about him being in blackface. No, he was not in blackface. I saw the video. Oh my God, I'm so pissed off. They darken shit. The original video, I told John to post it. It was a parody of somebody else's video. You pick and choose what you want to show. And to me, that's not right. If you're going to tell the truth, tell the whole fucking truth. He's a racist. Prove it. Prove it. Show me where this man is a racist, but you pick and choose what you want to show. I get so many fucking dumb DMs. John is just John. No, he's not. John is the sweetest person. One of the sweetest person people that I know. He's honest. He's caring, he's giving, and he wears his heart on his sleeve. And I never said I was going to speak about John, but the shit that I see going on right now is disgusting. It really is. It really is. John wears his heart on his sleeve. And at any given time, if I thought John Yates was racist, whatever, he and I would no longer be friends. Because I will not allow or accept bullshit. And God, everybody knows I'm a very intelligent person. And I've spoken to a lot of people about this. My sons have watched. And I am so disappointed in a lot of people. I really am. And I never meant to cry. I never meant to be upset. But the shit that they're putting him through is ridiculous. If you're going to condemn him, condemn him for shit that is true. Not for stuff that is made up. No. John is not a racist. He's not. He's not. And he said some stupid shit. And he knows it. He and I have talked about it. He has talked about it with a lot of people. But for people to go after people that he that he uh, he associates with. He associates with. And to send them letters and to do this shit that's fucked up it really is and uh, that's all I gotta say on that because he is a really good person he's a loving person and until you prove to me that John is a racist, and, and, and trust me, I've followed him for years, you've got to come with some hell of a evidence to show me that the man that I've come to know personally 
if the person that you say he is, because he's not. And I never wanted to discuss anything with John on my channel because I, I, you know, I've been called a sellout. I've been called all kinds of names. I don't care. You don't know me. And I don't give a shit about what your opinions of me are. But I do care about the shit that's being put out there. John is not a racist. He said, he repeated, he read something he should not have read. He, he should have said something different. But he proved the point, and I got his point. He is held to a totally different standard. And he is. Just like me, being a black woman in management, I am held to a different standard. Um, it's bad when it has to come down to race and not about a person's or somebody's character or somebody's it's bad when we base everything on race I've never been one to focus on race even when I was little I understood me being, and I am truly mixed. I am fucked up when it comes to the to the genes. I'm fucked up. Black people, my own family, <laughs> cousins, have things to say about me. And at the time, I was a whole lot lighter. I've gotten darker over the years, okay? So when it comes to race or hurt, I've experienced that as they call me a cool ass. I've experienced that. When I tell you that people of my own color and my own race has ostracized me and I felt so segregated. At one point, my sister next to me was jealous of me. She has the prettiest cocoa skin. She hated me for my skin. I hated her for her skin color. And that's within my own family. So it goes beyond skin, it goes beyond color, it goes with character. I judge a person on their character, not their skin color. And that's what I've always done. So I don't give a shit what anybody else has to say. I know the person that I've come to love, the person I've come to back. I've gotten emails. How do you have Debbie on your panel? And you guys are talking about this and she's white. No, Debbie is not white. <laughs> Debbie is not white. Debbie, again, would you like to tell them your nationality? It doesn't matter. I'm I'm not American. I'm from an island called Barbados. Thank you. I'm Caribbean. Um, but it's just the same shit. And it's like, I don't give a shit. We're talking wait, laughing about I was right. <laughs> If you ask a white person if I was white, they'd say no. That's the funny thing. 
<laughs> Look. Life throws us curveballs. Are you okay? Yes, it does. I'm good. Are you okay? I'm just really upset. I, girl, I get so many DMs all day long of a dumb shit. I do. Stop letting these things get to you. It doesn't. Huh? It doesn't really. I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't really get to me. What gets to me is the ignorance. It's the ignorance. Because oh, it's ignorance. It really is. That's what gets to me. And I don't say that I put myself above other people, but when it comes to the ignorance, that's what bothers me. And to see <laughs> that you go out of your way to hurt somebody, to try to damage somebody because you jump on a cause. Nobody knows what anybody does behind the scenes. I can tell you right now, I I have um I have supported St. Jude's for 23 years. 23 years. I can tell you that I have worked uh, at Harmony House six, seven years. I have. I can tell you that this past year, I supported four families. I have. I didn't ask their color. I didn't ask anything. What you guys don't realize, I hate this shit of a color. Okay, we had some major, major trials with color. We've had some major issues with Black Lives Matter. And I'm not being stupid. I'm not being crazy. Everybody's life matter. All lives matter. Yes, I identify as black. I I do. I identify as black. Um, I have German, French, Indian. What was the other one? European, all in my bloodline. But I identify as a black female. I don't like the term African American. I don't. I'm black. So, and for dumbass people to talk about, they're going to take my fucking black card. Bitch. <laughs> really? You're going to pull my black card? <laughs> now, I do have two black cards. <laughs> but you're never going to pull my black card because I'm black. I stand for who I am. I stand for what I say. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. What John said, under whatever circumstances it was said under, he should have never, ever said. Whether repeating it or not, he did it. I know why he did it. I understand why he did it. But to cru but to crucify him over some bullshit, me is stupid. And that's where I stand. John is my friend. I will always be my friend. I stood next to Monica with all this dumb shit. She's still my friend. I don't jump ship. I don't jump on a bandwagon. I'm not sheep. I have a fucking mind of my own. So whatever you have to say to me or about me, come directly to me. I am a grown woman. And I stand by what I say. And I stand... And I will stand with John. Period. 
I stay in where I stay in. Do not send me messages about John. Do not send me anything about John. Nothing. Because I know where that man's heart is. I know where he stands and I know what he believes in. I don't give a fuck about the cancel John Yates movement and whatever else you want to do. And those are my words. So, fuck it. I have nothing else to say. I stand with John Yates. And I am a proud fucking hag. So, if anybody has a problem with what I have to say, take it up with me. Because I stand where I stand. That man is not a racist. He's never said a racist thing in his life, not in a private conversation. Don't come at me with how do I feel about what John said? Because I know what John said. I jumped on a panel after John said what he said. Don't come at me. Because that is my friend. And my friendship will lie with John until the time and place when my friendship or whatever happens that he proves me wrong by what I have to say. And I'm sorry. I've been getting messages. I'm sorry, Debbie. I've been getting messages for the last week and a half about John. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm sorry. And I'm you you already know how I feel about this. You and I have mm-hmm. talked. Don't come at me. And no, I do not kowtow to John. I do not bow down to John. I am my own person. I am a free thinker. John doesn't tell me what to say, what to think, and what to fucking do. Let's make this clear. No motherfucker can pull a fucking black card. There is no such thing. Fuck you stupid ass people that come up with this bullshit. I was raised in a biracial family. I went to school You, oh my God, I, I don't understand where you guys get this thinking from. I don't understand how you cannot see for yourselves. Be free thinkers. Understand where a person is. See that person for who they are. Because let me tell you, and I'm going to say it. Fuck everybody that's in here. When I say nigger, ooh, yes, I said it. When I say nigger, I don't give a fuck what color, race, creed you are. If you act like a fucking nigger, you are a nigger to me. Understand me very clearly. White, black, green, yellow. If you act like it, that's what you are. And I said the word. Oh God, I'm black. And I said it. Oh my God. And no, I am not drunk. Nor am I hot. But I'm going to tell you right now. I've always said it. And I've said it to any one of my family members you can ask. If you act like it, that's who you are to me. Black, white, green, yellow, purple, green. I don't give a fuck. That's who you are. Now, let's make it clear. He never called anyone the N-word. He referenced something that was in a fucking, fucking text that was all over the internet. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. 
I don't want to hear nothing else about John being a racist. Because if John's a racist, so am I. Because I don't like a lot of the shit that people that supposed to be black or African American do. So that makes me a racist. Debbie, get your hands out of your face. So, okay. So I'm a racist too. Because I'm a racist against my own people. Because we're ignorant against each other. Fuck everything else you have to say. Look at your fucking selves. Look in a goddamn mirror. Okay? Because I know goddamn well I'm racist against a lot of my people for the stupid fucking shit they say. So that makes me a racist. Oh, well, I am. Here I am. Heidi Black, I'm a black racist. Mm. You guys are fucked. Mm. I'm so fucking sick of this dumb shit. I'm, I'm sick of it. We need to stop with this racist shit and accept people for who they fucking are. Put that fucking shit aside. Racist, right? Rodney King. Can we all get along? Can we all get along? Okay. Can, can we all get along? No, because we can't. Because he's so busy picking and choosing who we want to who we want to. Uh, 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 promote who we want to associate with. No, 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 no. Guess what? John can't stand Amber. Guess what? I talked to Amber. I don't give a fuck. Do we understand each other? I'm sick of this bullshit. It's not about the fucking color of your skin. It's about the content of your fucking soul. And if you are fucking black, evil soul, that's who you are. Debbie, I'm sorry. I I, I was getting messages. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. At least you got it out. I'm sorry. I just don't like to see you so upset. I'm sorry. Stop looking at the color of a person's skin and look at that person's heart in their soul. Stop it. When I say Amzilla or is a is a racist, she is. She is a black fucking soul. I don't put my faith and trust in anybody unless I know them. We are all, thank you. This is a human race. We're all a part of the same thing. People make mistakes. People say shit. Until you prove to me who you are, and I haven't seen it in all of these years, haven't seen it when you see it come to me I guarantee you I will see it before you don't do that don't judge a, don't judge anybody by the color of their skin please don't do that don't do that judge them by their character their character my character is fucked up but I am straightforward a lot of people say dumb shit, but if I fuck up, I'm going to say it. I had to. Because I'm tired of the fucking messages and the dumb shit. Thank you, Empress. I'm serious. You guys, don't judge a person on what you hear. Judge a person by what you see and what you feel. This is me. Okay? I I tell Debbie everything that's going on. Because I don't want Debbie to get involved in dumb shit. Anybody that's associated with me, because I'm associated with John, 
they're going to try to tear down. And I, uh, this has been, uh, this has been really, really hard on me because what John said was wrong. He knows it. But I'm not going to go broadcasting it. Oh my God. He said this. I've had that conversation. Even on the live. You saw him reading. And to hear that people are considering him a racist. Hurt me. Because that mean, that meant to me that my judgment was fucked up and my judgment is not fucked up he's not a racist people say dumb shit when when angie called real the n-word i was like no she's not a racist she used a very ignorant term then i came to find out oh my god he is a racist because I've been called a nigress. I'm going to say it, a nigress several times by her. She wants to curb stomp me. Ah, let's see. She wants to slit my throat and rape me with a big black dildo. <laughs> ah. Yes. So, yeah. That judgment was wrong. So, uh, John's never want to rape me with a big black dildo, but he did impregnate me spiritually. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, until you prove to me who you are, when I'm your friend, I'm your friend. I'm a very loyal friend. And, oh, everybody says, oh. They check with Heidi on everything. Heidi runs this. No, I don't. Um, I, I, uh, Terry Lynn D. Brooke. I'm just getting back into the groove with Amzy, Amber, um, Terry Lynn and Brooke, and Dee. I can say they're very straightforward people. I like straightforward people. And I keep telling everybody, my assessment test for management, they said I was very straightforward, very direct, and very honest. I don't hide anything. I may hold shit back in because I'm livid. And somebody told me when I was on a live with John the other day, I was, and I was, I was shaking. I was shaking because I was so mad because I, I didn't want to say what I really wanted to say. But I'm going to say it, and I don't give a fuck. John is my friend, and I stand with John. I don't care. I hear the lies. I hear the false narratives but nobody knows what goes on behind the scenes i do because we communicate we talk i see it so i don't give a shit i don't i don't and that's the way i feel about it yeah I don't hide shit. When I tell Debbie, I'm like, oh my God, this is going on, this is going on. <coughs> I don't wanna involve Debbie in shit. I really don't. But I, I don't lie to her. I tell her the stupid shit that's going on. Do I not tell you what's going on, Debbie? Yeah, nine times out of 10. I don't know half of the time who you're talking about. And she doesn't. 
<laughs> so only thing Debbie tells me is you need to ignore the BS and you be you. And I tell you to watch um, Korean street food videos. Yes. <laughs> I do. I'm not upset, Justin. I just, I get all these stupid ass text messages, you know, and the way I feel about it is this. If you've got something to say to that person, you say it. And I'm going to say it one time. Uh, MZ keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on. I don't care. I don't talk about her. I'm going to tell you my case was open against her on October 19th. Uh, every video, everything she says goes to that file. Uh, I'm going to tell you about Switch Witch. I don't respond to her because we're going to have a knock knock at the door. I don't respond to ignorance. You're not in my orbit. You're not in my atmosphere. I don't feel the need to go toe to toe with you. I don't feel the need to bash you, except for one person, <laughs> and that was you. Uh, but anyway, I do not respond to ignorance. I do not respond to dumb shit, because I don't care. Your opinion of me makes no difference because until you can climb to where i'm at and let me tell you it's at six figures uh i don't need you you don't pay my bills you don't do a goddamn thing for me so let me say again your opinions of me means nothing and if you want to have more to say i got a straw and you can suck every little bit of particles out of my butthole because I don't care. So let's make that clear. I don't address ignorance. You're not in my atmosphere. You're not in my orbit. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a lady like, I'm so sorry, but I don't care. So I don't rely on YouTube for a paycheck. <laughs> Oh my God, Jean Wilson. <laughs> yes. Oh, and Jean is wonderful. She's great. She's in college. She wrote a paper the other day. She's awesome. She bought me these earrings. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She sent me these earrings. Yes, Jean. Jean knows where I'm at. See? See? Okay. So Jean is awesome. Addie is awesome. Danielle is awesome. And it's, it's awesome. We're all in here awesome. So, guys, I'm gonna tell you one more time stop judging people on the color of their skin and judge them by their character. I don't jump on a bandwagon, I don't do that. Judge them for who you see they are, not for what you were told they are. Judge them by their, judge them by their character. Because we got some flawed fucking characters around us. And uh, I'm good. Debbie, what else do you have to say before we get out of here? I'm not hungry. Girl, I am starving. And it's 1 a.m. for me and I can't even eat. But I think I will. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. It's not me. It's Hold on, Crystal. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Crystal. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what YouTube said. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the wrong one. I need to get the one. Oh, Google says. There we go. Crystal. Okay. <laughs> Google says. It's not me. It's you. Crystal, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's you. You need to stop being so racist, Crystal. <laughs> Look, she says, I know it's my fault. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Jean, uh, you're fired. Jean, you're fired. Jean, you're rehired, Jean. You're rehired. Jean. You're rehired. <laughs> yes, my earring says, in one ear, out the other. Jean got me these earrings. 
and I'm serious, guys. I, I, I'm so serious. I understand, but when you have people that are jumping on a bandwagon for a cause because it's a trend, I have a problem with that. Okay? I really have a big problem with that. Really have a big problem with that. So, all I'm going to say is race, creed, color, gender. I judge you on your character. I judge you on your personality. I don't judge you by, oh, they said this. Because if that's the case, I'm looking at Married at First Sight, and that was a black balloon in the room of a black couple. Oh my God, that is so racist. Why was there a black balloon there? Why did they do, Debbie, why was there a black balloon there? Do you see it? Now I have to go back and look for it. You said it, yep, wasn't it was Michael in and Yasmina, Yasmina and Michael's yeah. room. Black balloon on the bed. Oh my God. When you were not, okay. I don't know why you were timed out. It wasn't racist, but again, Google says it's not me, it's you. Okay. So I'm going to say good night to every single body, no matter what race, creed, or color. I'm sorry, (laughs) y'all. I know Terry Lynn is getting ready to go live, and I have held up everybody. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to stay live this long. Debbie and I normally don't stay live this long. Debbie, Mm -hmm. it's it's overnight. It's been four hours. Debbie, we don't stay live this long. Oh, my God. Don't. (laughs) Guys, seriously, I love each and every one of you. Please, don't judge a person by their color. Judge them by their character. That's all I'm saying. That's what I do. You don't have to do me, but that's what I do. I judge by their character, not by their color. Okay? Seriously. Or by hearsay, okay. like how Alyssa is. To pour yeah, the I, I, I don't do the hearsay stuff. Yeah. And I'm going to say it. Everybody's been asking me and asking me, now, where do I stand? How do I feel? I stand with the truth. I judge a person by their character. I stand, with that being said, I stand with John Yates. Okay? He didn't say anything malicious. He wasn't trying to be rude or crude. I stand with John. That's where I stand. Until you can prove to me that this man is a racist, he is this, that, and the other. Prove to me the man that I have come to know over all these years, just like they tried to do with Monica. Prove to me the people that I know, not what you see, but the people I know, their character is different than what I know. Do you have me? I stand with John. Thank you. That's why I am. And I'm serious. And it's not about anything else but character. It's not about color. It's about character. I don't jump shit. I don't flip flop. I don't do those things. I stand with right. He was wrong in what he said and what he repeated. But I know the man and I know the character. Thank you, Brenda. Play some is posted. Okay, can you guys put Terry Lynn's uh Terry Lynn's link in my chat, please? Please, 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 before we get out of here. Hi, Danielle. And I love Danielle. Guys, subscribe to Danielle. She's very positive. I love Danielle. Please subscribe to Danielle. Uh, Debbie and Jamal's link is in my uh, description. Please subscribe. And I'm just telling you how I feel. You may not agree. I don't care. I judge on character. Period. Not on the masses. 
and I love you. I love all of you. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for the super stickers. Eddie has met me. Eddie knows me. Um, Amber has met me. Dom Naughty, Dom Natty met me. Um, anybody that meets me and hangs around me, they know me. And I will never, ever, ever change because of peer pressure or racial pressure. I don't care. It's character for me, not the color of your skin. Because there's a lot of black people that I fucking can't stand. Understand me clearly. A lot of them I can't stand. So, okay, Debbie, where can they find you, baby? So, at the commentary zone on YouTube. And I just um, gave Jean the, our IG commentary zone link. Guys, we love you. Debbie? Yes. Love you. Next Thursday? Yes, next Thursday for sure. It's a date. It's a date. Guys, yes. next Thursday, love you. We're out of here with us the longest we've ever been live. Tomorrow night, we have Fun Friday. We're going to play Butt Hurt. I have a lot of good questions. Debbie, if you can join us, join us. Uh, it's going to be 10 your time. It's Eastern. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to be live tomorrow with uh, Bobbling with Babbles. Uh, if Red Scars, if Red Flags with Lily and Tara can join, they're going to join. Eddie's going to be here. We're just going to have fun. No bullshit. I don't want to hear any dumb shit that come across the screen because my mods have been instructed to uh, uh, delete. And we haven't had any of that in my chat. And I want to say thank you guys for being respectful. And I love each and every one of you. Um, Debbie, we will talk tomorrow or during the week, whatever. But we would definitely be talking. I love you, sweetie. And thank love you for you joining me again. All right. Anytime. Anytime. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>